we go. It's a little bit better now, isn't it, boys? Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me, boys? Can you hear me? Yes, I am, Alton. Yes, I am. Oh, you're asking someone else. Never mind. Hey, we can hear you? Fuck yeah. I mean, yes, that's awesome. Great. Great. That's g good news. So, guys, today's video is, uh, well, stream is actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. So, we're going to be playing um, some EU4. And then after, later, we'll be playing a little bit of Raid and um, then some more E4. The goal of today's campaign is basically to get 10,000 development with just the German Empire borders. So that means um, we're going to be concentrating development a lot. And we're going to be playing Toll. We're going to try to develop the schnapps out of our provinces. We're going to be playing effectively. And we're going to be um, likely getting some vassals and subjects around because... Hey, those are not directly owned provinces, so it's fine, okay? It's it's all right, okay? It's according to the rules I just made up. <sighs> like to see all you guys in chat. A lot of the old established boyos as well as some new people. Glad to see new faces. I watched a lot of your videos. I got better at the game. Glad to hear that, Eric. Thank you for watching my videos, man. Do a trade companies uh, count? Do trade companies count? They do, yeah. Yeah, I'd say they do. Yeah. Thank you, I'm from Germany. Welcome to the stream, brother. Glad to see people from Germany here. Yes, I did, Alton. A Kazakh in the Netherlands watching a Romanian play Swedish game. There you go. It's all about multiculturalism. Brandenburg again. We're going to continue the save that we have, brother. We're going to continue the save that we have. Glad to catch you live, even though I can't watch long now. Uh, love the content. Keep it up. Cheers from Thailand. Welcome to the stream, Charlie. Have a good day, brother. Hope you have uh, an amazing day. Hey, hello, Peach. Beautiful Peach. All right, all right. So... Oh, okay. Let me try and figure out some stuff here, boys. I recommend you get, if you have not yet uh, gotten Raid for yourself, highly recommend you get it. It's an awesome game. I actually play it in my free time, which is why I got the sponsorship, because I do play it. And I even have a clan. I'm level 50 something, so I'm pretty high up. And it's actually a really, really good game. It's got a lot of updates recently. For example, um, right now, if you log in between the 15th, if let me put it this way, right? October is a special month for Raid because they have a lot of uh, events focused around, um, whatchamacallit, the spooky stuff, right? The... Thanksgiving, all that stuff, Halloween, trick or treat. And if you download Raid Shadow Legends using my uh, link below, then you copy your in game player ID, venture to raidyardsplarium.com. You find all of these links in the description of the video, the, the live stream, between October 15 and November 10. Enter your player ID, then you can grab some really awesome bonuses and can even get some epic and legendary Halloween themed Ray Champions or even Amazon gift cards up to 20,000 bucks if you're lucky. If you haven't if you are an existing Raid player, you can still get involved as well, but you will get a special promo code instead that everybody can use, even the ones that have been playing Raid for a while. So that means me as well. And the uh, new users from US can take um part in the main prize, so only for the US based users that are new yeah i'll talk about this more as we go along now let's play some e4 let's play e4 boys <laughs> open in the game First time I actually caught you uh, streaming live, not just video. Welcome. Uh, nice. Hi from uh, Poland. What's up, uh, Perkos? Welcome to stream, man. Is Raid historically accurate like Key 4? Of course. I heard Japanese do not like uh, foreigners that much. Is that true? I cannot say so, man. I think uh, I'm, I haven't had any issues with like discrimination in Japan, personally. I think it's more of an issue of... Um, um, whatchamacallit? More of an issue of... People that come to Japan don't necessarily follow the customs, and that does upset the Japanese people, I guess. Does Ludi read the YouTube chat? Yes, I do, Michna. 
And do you have a wife or are you a real E4 player? I do have a wife. I do indeed. YouTube streams do better than uh, Twitch. Um, depends. Is Raid historically accurate? Are you Romani? No, I'm not actually. You know who is? Uh, Joe Mama. Speaking of. Mishka, what's going on, bro? What's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Kawaii Ludi. Yes. Can confirm. Yes. Greetings from Peru. What's going on, Alonso? It's been a while, man. Hope you've been doing good, brother. Bruder. <laughs> Brudler. Brudaruni. All right, boys. Campix, what's up, man? Is he kill? Welcome to the stream, guys. All right, let me just. Um... Here we go. It's a little bit better now, isn't it, boys? Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me, boys? Can you hear me? Yes, I am, Al. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> we can hear you? Fuck yeah. I mean, yes, that's awesome. What? <laughs> Yo, Cheberusikin. Thank you for the five Canadian dollars, man. Thank you very much for that, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I heard that as well. The echo, it's gone now. Okay. I, I, I can't, I'm not really good at streaming, clearly. I'm not the best at this. You do look ludicrous stream. Why are you such a branding Brandon Bergaboo? I love it, man. It's such a hard and difficult nations nation, but if you know how to play it, it it just becomes so amazing. That's why I like Brandenburg so much because it's uh you know it's a not a, uh, not the easiest of games as Brandenburg, but once you get it rolling, it is just delicious. All right, so we have our save game here, the one that I did the video with. We're gonna continue with this one. I think this is the best option. So let's start. Hello from Dagestan. What's up, man? Have you read the 13 tribes by um, by Arthur Kostler? If you, if so, do you think that is plausible? Um, no, I think I've heard about it though. So if you remind me, I might know exactly what you're talking about. If you remind me a little bit. All right. So let's see what our aggressive expansion looks like. We have little to no aggressive expansion, which is a beautiful. It is in fact delicious. A small question about VK3, doesn't army composition matter? It does matter actually in 1.5, it really does. Are there two looties? What do you mean are there two looties? How much do you think the stream is going on for? I don't know. Wow. Can you guys see the... Um, can you guys see the game in the background? Because I'm getting mixed vibes here. My YouTube uh, thing is showing me that it's not showing. And the stream elements is saying that it is showing. What's going on, Vladimir? You can see it? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, my bad. I don't normally stream, stream on YouTube much. So I'm trying to get a hold of everything. I kind of got used to Twitch streaming. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Edomite CK3 win? One day. One day. I see it. A lot of new people are compared to Twitch. Yes. Have to go to work. Good stream. See you later, Ivan. We have Ludi at Historia and Ludi at History. Oh, damn. Where is Wallet? It, you never had it, bro. It's gone. It's gone forever. Will you upload City Skylines 2? I will, Leonard. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you were a history teacher, right? I was a an English teacher for a while. I did study history in university, though. So you got it kind of right. Close. Close enough. How much development we have with the poles? So right now we've got Polash, Polash. Nope, there you go. 71 development. So we're gonna have to develop this a little bit more too before we um, before we do anything else because we wanna get the age objective from the poles. That's gonna massively help us, right? We need 200 development for that. Here's my lunch money, now giving back my wallet. Never, now I have your wallet and your lunch money. Thank you, brother, for the two euros. Appreciate it, Fifel. 
Is your last uh, army composition still relevant? It is Ezekiel, yeah. It is very, very much so relevant. I will do a new one in 1.36, but it's basically the same 1.36 with the 1.35. Will you fix the fort layout? Yes, yes, I will, of course. England under a pew with uh, Estonia, with Ethiopia. Wait, what? No, it's not. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Please try to sing the Brandenburg Anthem. They have one. In the is book, the author claims that the Ashkenazi Jewish people descended from the Khazar people. No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I mean, never know, but I don't think so. And I doubt he has anything to back it up also. If I form you on 1500, can I still get a Khan achievement? I don't even know that achievement, to be honest with you. Greetings from the best country that border us. Which one is that? Buddhist Prussia strong? Maybe, maybe. Hear me out, Zoroastrian Prussia. Um... I wouldn't rule it out completely, to be honest, as a Austrian Prussia. That wouldn't be too bad. All right, we have quite a few Protestant provinces. We have how many Protestant centers of reformation? We have one over here next to us, another one we own right now, and a third one is in the north. Okay, wow, we have some Protestant nations in the north. We're going to go Protestant ourselves, I think, but um, until that point, we'll just uh, chill. We basically destroyed most of our economy whilst... Pushing for that little quick um, expansion at the end of the campaign. We wanted to get 15, 14 German Empire borders. And we did because if you go to the player map mode, we actually have every single um, every single province in the German Empire. Right? We got all of them. Since these guys are vassals, vassals, vassals. And we will, of course, integrate them when the time is right. But the point is that we got it. We beat our old record. And I uh, mostly did it in the last 10 to 15 years. I basically rushed like crazy to do it. So that's why we're basically drained out of all of our manpowers. The first phase of this stream, we're going to just um, recover our situation. We're going to fix our forts, like somebody said in chat earlier. We're going to do some of our missions, destroy everybody that would challenge us, integrate our vassals. Um... What else? We're going to build a Here's massive economy, of course, now and develop the schnapps out of the country. <laughs> Made you look. They aren't in PU with Ethiopia. I see what you did there. Imagine, imagine if Germany would have united in this time in our actual timeline. I know, right? It would have been nice. Except Mets. See, now, I know people saying that you don't have Mets for the German Empire borders, right? But the thing is, it would look so freaking horrible, man. This is a part of the Lorraine state. I want to have the full state, right? Because it's a part of Lorraine, it would just look ugh. That's why I didn't. I, I don't take it when I do my German Empire borders. Because of that. Because it's not a part of any state. I like to get the entire states, right? <laughs> <sighs> Ezekiel, I'm glad uh, I managed to get through it to you, brother. Hope you're doing good, and I really wish you, um, you know, get better. You'll be fine, man. You'll be fine. Thank you for watching the video, by the way. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you, for everybody. Appreciate it, guys. All right. Um... Yoni's with the one euro as well. Thank you, bro. How you been, man? Yoni's, guys, is one of my very oldest uh, subscribers. He's been with the channel since forever. Forever. Forever and ever. And he's a really cool dude as well. Really appreciate Yoni's chilling with us so much and being a part of this community. Really, really do. Thank you, bro, for being a part of the community for so long. Really means a lot. All right. Let's get them royal marriages. We're going to need to delete a lot more fortifications around here. And we're going to need to do something. Um, no, not yet. I'm waiting. Uh, a lot of these forts I still need for the time being to lower the devastation. So, like, for example, the one in Nuremberg still is lowering devastation, as are these two here. But afterwards, I'll, uh, I'll get rid of them once I don't need them anymore. Like, some of them are absolutely useless. Speaking of, let's actually lower the autonomy a little bit. How have you guys been, by the way? I know that a lot of you don't show up for my uh, Twitch streams, which is A-OK, -okay, by the way. Um, so, I know some of you only uh, chat with me either in the comment section or whenever I'm streaming on YouTube. So, hope you guys have been good. I hope life has been treating you well. And, um, yeah. Oh, actually, we didn't need Bragans, did we? Because that's part of Austria. Man. It's fine. It's fine. 
Celebrate first super chat from Yoni's Benzaria. Ooh, super chat. Lydia, my favorite YouTuber. Thank you, Victor. I'm glad to hear that, man. Thank you for watching my videos, brother. Appreciate it, bro. Really, really appreciate it, man. I finally have my own waifu, so I needed to give one year for the years I've been here with, uh, without one. Hey, glad to hear that, Yoni's. Congratulations, man. Are you going to play Mazab? Eventually, I will, yeah. I'm still waiting for Kazakh campaign of Viki 3. We'll get it, uh, Dalet. Don't worry. We'll get it. Will the VOD be available on the channel? Yes, it will be, Proudy. Introduce us to your wifey. Maybe later. Will the stream be available? Uh, yes, it will. It will, Vaspi. Yeah. How you been, man? Vaspi. Hello, Lily. Just wanted to gift you something for all the amazing work. Toby, dude, you freaking crazy map lord. <laughs> dude, 10 freaking euros. Thank you, dude, for the 10 euro super chat, man. Really appreciate it, Toby. You're a legend, bro. Thank you so much, man. Speaking of, um, I forgot to add some things here. I'm gonna need to do this, I believe. I'm just gonna keep this here for now. This is fine. There you go. Because this is a sponsor stream, guys, so we have to do it. Come on. One second. There we go. All right. Make colonies next. I might do some. I might do some. Bloody's best E4 YouTuber. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I've never played E4, but I enjoy watching your videos and other people on this game. Is it worth getting into it, or is the learning curve too steep? I'd say that the learning curve is a little bit steep, but once you do get into it, you're going to absolutely love it, man. Like, E4 is by far one of the best games out there. And it's like one of those games that just, you know, it, it makes it... It, it really... It's a good, it's a good game. It's a great game, not not a good game. It's an amazing game. Like it keeps you busy, it keeps your mind entertained. So yeah, I recommend you check it out. Don't forget to also install Raid. Would help us out, help the channel out a lot. Big thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's video, today's Raid, Raid, today's live stream. I'm nervous, guys. E4 better than the rest of Paradox games. I would say the best Paradox game is now E4. But I'd say there are some big contenders to it. Like, Hoi4 has really been stepping its game, bro. Like, massively stepping its game. Yo, appreciate it, guys, for... Uh, for... Um, for all the support. Have no DLC. Is it still my favorite strategy game? Uh, v Voju, if you want to get some DLCs, you can always get the subscriber. The subscriber thing. The su subscription model. If you don't want to get the subscription model, uh, I recommend you get it when it's on discount. Sometimes it has some massive discounts, bro. Like massive, massive discounts. Not always, but sometimes it does. Oh, for Christ's sake. It's okay, I'll wait. Hey, we're about to get our um, armies back on track. Seed this to Ansbach. No, screw it. No, no, no. Big no, no. All right, let's get these guys so we get a little bit more in the trade node. And let me check. <clears throat> so you got 53. That's going to go up a little bit more. We're collecting from here, collecting from there. We got only two merchants. I think I'm going to go for trade ideas after. Oh, what? Going to war with who now? Venice, Knights, and Bologna. Sure. Okay, I'm going to give some support, not too much, but some support for sure. What happened to the rest of my army? Did I consolidate with the entire army or something? I, I think I might have, actually. I think I might have, yeah. Even Switzerland. CK3 and E4 kind of on the same level. I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't see many people talk about this, but um, the easy modes are great for new players. What do you mean, easy modes? Do you see each new rights video got me rethinking about life? I'm glad to hear that, Chico. Really glad to hear that. Should I get Vicky 3? Bro, I'm actually really enjoying Vicky 3. Like, I know it's getting a lot of hate from a lot of different channels and stuff, but personally, and again, this is just my own opinion, I'm really having fun with Vicky 3. Like, I'm genuinely having more fun with Vicky 3, just casually playing it, than I'm having with E4. Because I don't need to, like, you turn off your brain, you just have fun, and it's the point of it, I guess, right? Is literally the point of it. Just 
have a chill grand strategy experience, unlike E4, which is a very, very sweaty one. It is what it is. Doesn't Brigands belong to Austria instead of German Empire? Yeah, we kind of took it by mistake. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. Don't stress about it. We'll be fine. Don't you worry about a thing. Because every little thing going to be all right now. Don't worry. I might actually improve with the English because I might change the alliance with the French with the English. <laughs> And I, we need to vote on this, guys. Do you think that the Lowlands belonged to the German Empire or do you not think so? Because I'm, I'm thinking to get the Lowland parts as well in this campaign. I don't know. I'm a little bit mixed on it. I feel like they do belong to the German Empire. This is my opinion. That's just my opinion. Maybe not. Who knows? But I'd say yes. No, I don't think so. No, no. Of course they do. Yes, yes. Germany, of course. Is that a country? France. Now, France is our ally. They're friends for now. France is friends. Everything belongs to the German Empire. They're proper German. Yes, they do. Okay, that's actually a lot of people saying yes. Some saying no. Some saying no, but definitely a lot saying yes. All right, I guess we'll decide on it later. How about Austria? Does Austria belong to Germany? Can we include Austria in this challenge? That's the big question. That would be a uh, what? How much dev they got? Not much for sure. Probably like 100 something. Probably 150. Nope. Yes, yes. As a German? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> Surely they do. Surely they do, guys. Mm. How the hell does Castile not have the freaking PU with uh, with Aragon already? Like, actually, how does it not have it yet? <laughs> Bruh. Did, these, did you guys see that? They barraged the fort in Leignitz and then they left. They literally barraged it, and they left. Quality AI, guys. Quality AI right there. German German culture group. Do you have Alsace Lorraine? I have most of it. I, I don't have Mets, but I don't know. You guys think we should take Mets? Right, let's 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 vote for Mets. All right, let's make it. Uh, let's vote Mets first, and then Austria and the rest. Do you think we should take Mets? Would that be included in this challenge? But if I take Mets, then by that logic, we should also have the Lowlands, right? What's going on, Leech Up? Thank you for watching my videos, man. Alvendig. Yes, yes, no. Bavarian is halfway between an Austrian and a... Wait, what? Was? Was? Was did you talking about? Yes, Mazab also Namibia. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a little bit more than just a couple of Prussian... Uh, Holdings, okay? That's a, that's a lot of Prussian holdings right there. Ludi thinks uh, like a real Prussian. I'm not saying no. I'm not, I'm not saying no to that. Okay? I'm not saying no. Oh, wait. France is in this as well? Oh, my lord. Venice is getting schnappled, duped, y'all. Venice is quite literally getting schnappled, duped right now. I'm thinking to also cancel espionage ideas because I don't really care about it or need it. Especially now that I've gotten the provinces I wanted. So I'm thinking to just um, replace it with pretty much anything else, really. Definitely going to do that, though. Get all the Germans, the Swamp Germans, the Mountain Germans. Hold on a second. Which ones are the Swamp Germans? Are you telling me that the entirety of the Lowlands is just Germans that live in swamps? Is this the secret y'all been hiding from me this entire time? There was no Dutch people. There was only Germans living in swamps this whole time. Unbelievable. Then the question is, what kind of swamps are these that makes them so freaking rich and tall? These are just amazing swamps. I need to drink some of that swamp water to get taller, lads. I need to be as tall as Dutch people. What are they like? Uh... Two meters and a half or something, right? The New York Mets. Can you make a video on Big Blue Blob in the newest patch? You mean in uh, 1.36? I could, sure. I could definitely do one on 1.36. We can do that. Yeah, sure, sure. So after the war is over, I want to show you guys what my normal uh, fort distribution is because it is not what we have it at right now. Because uh, fort distribution is really good for two things, obviously for defense first and foremost, but also for um, 
for uh, lowering devastation in provinces, right? Alejandro Pinazo with the 10 euros, dude. Thank you, Alejandro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it very much, man. Means a lot, brother. Thank you so much for that donation. Lowland Spice Swamps was good. Too tall. They're tall because they have to be taller than the swamps, Ludi. Oh, that makes sense, man. So they just, they have to be taller so they don't, oh, I, that makes so much sense now. So they're always just standing up, right? Is that what you're telling me now? Show belly button. Oh, Lord. Netherlands superior culture. Okay. Okay, buddy. Third Reich borders give you all of Poland. For, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dean. What's up, man? Uh, which mission tree in 1.36 you're the most excited for? Well, I'm not allowed to talk about that stuff too much. But suffice to say that um, I do be an enjoyer. I do definitely be an enjoyer. Of the, um, of the, of the Byzantine mission tree. <laughs> is that a surprise chat? Is that actually a surprise? What do you think is going to be my very first video in 1.36? I mean, seriously now. Why are you streaming on YouTube? Today is YouTube day, Smuzzy. Next day is going to be, um, not YouTube. It's going to be Twitch next day. So likely tomorrow or day after. Let's see. I, I wish to see his and Kaifa get flavor. I think they're not giving his and Kaifa nothing. At least what I've seen from Dev Diaries. They haven't mentioned anything about his and Kaifa. Is it not the looty button? Netherlands superior Gouda. Is Gouda cheese from the Netherlands? No shot. Hold on a second. I've always thought that Gouda cheese is like from India because it sounds like Gurkha. Like... That was my logic, right? It sounds like Gurkha, you know, the special units. So it's got to be from uh, India, the cheese. You're telling me it's not from India? No shot. No shot at all. Hellenic Byzantium. 1.36 NA Natives Guide first video. Oh, Lord. How are you doing, Speak? Gouda is Dutch cheese. Why is it called Gouda? That sounds like Nepali to me, man. What the hell? I, f I, feel, I feel like I I've been misled my whole life here. What is this? Gouda from the Netherlands. Why, really? It's from the city of Gouda. No shot. There is a city in the Netherlands that's actually called Gouda. Bro. <laughs> How do you uh, reel with the aggressive expansion? Watch my video. I've actually... This is the campaign for my 1.35 Brandenburg video. A couple of days was out. A couple of days ago. Watch my video. I explain it in depth. How we don't have any coalition now. Look at that. These guys... Hate, love us, not hate us. They lo Everybody loves us, okay? We've got nobody that hates us in the entirety of the world. Everybody loves us. It's the truth. Can I get some money from uh, Venice? Can I piece them out now with some money? Give me all your cash. No? No shot, no. Wow. I took your forts, man. At least give me some money for that. Copium. Thanks for uh, your three-year-old guides. Now I uh, play you for like a giga chat. I'm glad to hear it, Dalet. Thank you for watching my videos, man. We still need Alsace and the Duchy of Poland the Napo that Napoleon stole. Wait, what? Hold up. Gouda is located in Zuid Holland. Really? Zuid Holland. Is that like uh, South Holland? It sounds like uh, Dutch for South to me, at least it sounds. Zuid Holland. Because, like, uh, what is it? South Africa is also, like, Zud Africa or something, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, chat? Am I wrong about these explanations I'm giving out here? Is that not? Is it truth? Is that reality? It, is it not it? All right, guys. Let's get a, uh, a uh, light ship flagship. What are we going to name this, chat? We need to give this a proper German name. What Don't you think? What kind of a German name do we need to give this? Marcus Paolo. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Been watching you from the start. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. What was your first Paradox game? I think it was uh, Vicky 2 or EU3. One of the two. Wilhelm? No, guys. It's, it's got to be a proper, proper German name. So let's go with... Um, what is the most German thing ever? Bismarck? Chad is not Chad. Bismarck? Yeah, I'd say Bismarck. So let's call it the German Empire ship. 
guess, right? That's that's how it, you name them, right? Or the United Star Systems, Bis, Mark, right? That's how it goes. You the USS Bismarck. That sounds fair to me. Trade power per uh, ship and fleet, of course, of course. Fleet movement speed, of course, obviously. And privateer efficiency, because we might privateer with these boyos as well. And let's get some more light ships. We need to get at least 50 light ships so we can properly get some um, some bigger chunk of the trade node, right? That's what it's about. The paint. Okay, 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 okay. Prince Eugene. Wiener Schnitzel. What the schnapps is a Wiener Schnitzel, though? That's the real question. What der Schnaps is a real schnitzel? Marlene Dietrich. I've I, I have no idea who that is. I wish I knew though. You can't name something Bismarck and don't give it more cannons. <laughs> I know, right? I, I feel like what I've done here has been very heretical by not giving it the extra cannons. I fully agree with you. I feel like I, I've done it a mis misfavor, a, a disservice. A disservice is what I was gonna say. Oh, the knights are down in here. Maybe Malta. I mean, not Malta. Um, what you call them? Maybe Naples is gonna wipe them out fully. I guess they will, right? They must. They must do it. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit too, because uh, we're basically just uh, chilling right now. We got a lot of rebels all around the country, which is not surprising at all. But it's getting better. How many? How many ducats we got? Fifty-six ducats. Uh, yeah, we need more ducats. We need more as they say in Germany. That is, in fact, proper German, in case you're wondering. I've studied German at the German University of um, Istanbul. So clearly, I know German very well. In fact, I have invented the donor kebab just last year. Have you guys tried it out yet? Will this be live? Will this live be uploaded? Uh, it it probably will be. Yes, it will be. Marlene Dietrich was a famous German actress in the early Hollywood era. Oh no way! I never knew about her. Wow, must be because I'm not a hundred years old. Let's play. I'm not a hundred years old. How do you even know that? And how old are you? And how do you know how to use the computer? Is the real question here. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. Chat. It's a joke. It's just a joke. Come on, guys. German University of Hamburger. Oh, yeah, the famous American one, right? It's where most Americans learn their German. In Hamburger. <laughs> oh, look at this. We got a new Nationenstein formed around here. Ooh. Would I be the worst person ever if I did this? Be honest, chat. Would I be the worst if I did this? Like, actually, would I? Cancelled. You look like a typical Istanbulian. Thank you. Thank you. That's because most people in Istanbul have likely same ancestors as me. Because, <laughs> you know, there used to be this thing where um, they used to steal people from the Balkans <laughs> and uh, make them Janissaries. That was a thing before. That was definitely a thing. So, as consequence, as consequence, oh, snaps. It do be like that, Bryce. It do be like that. All right. Uh, what, what what just happened? What just happened? Poland is equal to me? No shot. No actual shot that just happened. No shot at all. Not a single shot right there. Yo, Blaze Martin. Thank you for becoming a tribune, sir. Appreciate it, man. Be evil, Ludi. What's going on, Dewey Monster? How to fix you for RNG? Oh, bro. You just got to play into it, uh, Gru Gamers. You got to play into it, man. Donair dude. Poggers, Ludi Auto Bro confirmed. Of course, of course. In fact, if you get the DNA of all Turkish people, you will find that their wallets are missing and that they also have 5% Romanian in them. All of them. Every single Turkish person. In fact, if if no if if a person from Turkey doesn't have 5% Romanian, they're not real Turks. They're fake Turks, okay? That's facts right there. You know how you know how I know that? You know how I know, chat? Do you know how I know that? I found their DNA test in the wallet the other day when I went, when the wallet just, it just popped into my lap. I don't know how. I have no clue. It just appeared in my lap. I didn't, I didn't want it. I didn't. I didn't want it. 
It just it just popped in. It just popped in, guys. That's it. It just popped in. It's weird. It's very weird. Is the Turk? I agree. Thank you, Bilbo. Thank you for confirming. Thank you. See, guys, Bilbo confirms. Bilbo knows what's up. I have six percent. Does it make me Romanian? Yes. Yes. It, in fact, it does. You only need zero point one percent to be Romanian. If you're ninety nine percent American, and you have zero point one percent Romanian, you are in fact Romanian. Remember that. Remember. Remember that, kids. Just, just hold on to that for a sec there. Okay. Are you ready for that fact, chat? Are you ready for that fact? Why is this trade note so bad? Oh, because I'm stopping all the trade from going in there. Obviously. All right, so let's see right now we're getting 32 ducats. Let's see what happens if we transfer everything in there. How much was it? 33 ducats, was it? Yeah, I think so. Yo, Bognan, thank you for becoming a Legion man. Le Legion man? Legion man. I took a, a DNA test a few days ago. I was 7% Romanian. That's awesome. You, you're qualified to become the Romanian president if you're 7%. If you're Transylvanian, Saxon, are you Romanian? Yes. Yes, in fact, you are. I am ready for the fact. Yo, Aaron, Aaron, sir, let's keep it in English. Let's uh, let's keep it in English, brother. Garrison, well, I don't know what that is, bro. Ludi is not min-maxing. Ludi is, in fact, playing for kicks. Ludi is, in fact, playing for kicks, guys. I am, in fact, having fun playing E4. I know it's a, tif it's, a, it's a tough thing to understand. How can somebody have fun when they play E4? It's unimaginable. Why would you do that, Ludi? Ludi, how dare you have fun when playing a video game? This is not the way of our community, Ludi. It is not the way. <laughs> okay, these are not states yet. No, not yet. Okay, we're, we'll get there. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We'll get there, boys. Ludi's germ maxing. This is true. Ludi the Impaler, also true. Are you going to play Legacy of uh, Persia DLC for CK3? I likely will, yes. Not all Transylvanians are vampires. Some of them are bankers. Isn't that like the same thing? One day, Armando, for sure. This is the way. Who's your favorite general? That would be uh, Vlad the Impaler. No, actually, uh, Stefan the Great would be my actual favorite. Stefan the Great is one of the most underrated generals in history. You cannot change my mind about that. You cannot change my mind. I feel like I have an army missing somewhere. Where's my other army that's missing? Oh, forgot what I was going to do. What was this? Uh, wait, what? Chat. When the fuck did this happen? <laughs> When the hell did this happen, yo? Did we just become the freaking courier controller? Bro. <laughs> did we just actually become the courier controller? Bro. Bro, what? <laughs> oh, wow. Do you guys also feel like E4 turns into a resource management game after you get past the initial challenge? It, it kind of does sometimes, yeah. Depends on, your uh, depends on your goals in the game. If you play E4, you're in fact Romanian. This is true. This is true. Pope Ludi. When Ludi announced he was playing for kids, he became Pope. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold up a second. Wait, hold up. I, I, <laughs> you take that back right now, sir. Excuse me. How dare you? How dare you? I am insulted. Wait, we adopted the new institution, right? We did not. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. I've been listening to a lot of Katy Perry recently, man. I feel like Katy Perry is so underrated. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Ludi, she's not underrated, bro. What are you talking about? But no, I actually feel like she's... I feel like everybody thinks about... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Taylor Swift when they think about pop stars, right? But the truth is, if you check uh, Katy Perry on YouTube... Bro, she's got like three times the amount of views that uh, Taylor Swift has. Literally three times. It's insane how many views she's got. Katy Perry cringe. Bro, I like her, some of her songs. I, I feel like her old songs are pretty decent. I don't know, I just recently it happened. Like, I've, I've actually started really enjoying her songs. Maybe it's because I'm getting old. I don't know. I really don't know. Why are we watching a giant QR code block half of the screen? It's because uh, 
you can use that QR code to download Raid Shadow Legends for yourself and play it. And we're going to play some Raid after, towards the end of the stream. We're going to play, I'm going to show you my character. I'm going to show you my character, my uh, champions, because I do play Raid. I've actually been playing Raid for four years, three years now. So I got like a level 51 dude. And I'm genuinely really enjoying the game. It's not because we have a sponsor today that's Raid. I actually do play Raid myself. <laughs> You're getting weak, Ludi. Time to play CK3. Are you going to play City Skylines 2? I will. Actually, do you guys want me to play City Skylines after we play Raid later? We can make it a little bit of a longer stream. We can play City Skylines 2. Can't believe I fell for the trap. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I would like seeing you play CK3. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. You're my sexy hot dog. Wait, what? Play it now? We'll play it after. We'll play it after. I really want to play... Bro... Uh, out of all the games I've done in 1.35, two games I've really been enjoying a lot. This Brandenburg game and my Russia game. And I'm thinking honestly to mix that in as well in today's stream if we do a little bit of a longer one. Because like, I genuinely love that campaign. Russia is so good in the current patch with the new additions and domination, right? And Brandenburg obviously had a revamp for the mission tree, which is why we're having a ton of fun with this too. Do a three mountains? We might do. We might do. Milan Shiho live. Thank you for becoming a tribune, sir. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, Milan. I'm guessing from the name that you're from Serbia or the Balkans. Milan is a very, very Balkan name. That's actually really interesting to me because Milan obviously is the city of uh, Milano, right? But I don't know where the origin of the word Milan is, the name Milan. It's a Slavic origin for sure. Maybe it's a word in Slavic or Old Slavic, so... If anybody knows, I'm curious to know the origin of that name. Because I know it's a very popular name in the Balkans. Milan is Dutch as well. No way. I never knew that. The town of Shkubaba de Buba de Boos. Yes, this is true. That's the town we're going to make in City Skylines too. Isn't it horrible with optimization? Oh, God. Okay, guys. I'm going to make a really quick... Uh, can you open two games on Steam at the same time? Can you open two games on Steam at the same time? Let's test. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out a little bit, guys. I'm gonna help you out a little bit here. So, do you stream often? Not very often, Zach. You know, you can. Yeah, you can. I just opened City Skylines. Let me uh, change the scene, game capture, so I can show you guys. I'm I'm coming back to the campaign. I'm playing E4. I'm just quickly showing you guys how to fix the stutter. So, 99% of the hate on City Skylines 2 has been for one thing: the game stutters and lags like freaking crazy like freaking crazy dude do you know why chat if you have city skylines 2 right now i'm gonna change your freaking life they fucked up the settings in the default version so i've had the early access for city skylines for like two months right and look at this let me quickly change so once you go to your options you go graphics it's gonna have blank here. It's gonna be no no resolution. If you have that, your game's gonna be absolutely horrible. It stutters on the stream. It does stutter on the stream, but it doesn't stutter when I play it. Uh, that's also because it's not optimized for streaming. That's another issue. But if you play City Skylines, change your resolution to whatever your monitor's resolution is. That's all you gotta do. Change it to the monitor resolution. Nothing else. So change it from here, right? After you've done that, you're A-OK. -okay. You will be able to play City Skylines as much as you want. No stutters, no lags, nothing of the sorts. Milan with the 20 gifted memberships. What the fudge, Milan? Holy shit, dude, bro. Okay, let me exit uh, City Skylines. That is the first time anyone's actually gifted memberships in uh, in my channel. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much, Milan. Thank you, dude. That is actually insane, man. Thank you so much, Milan, for the 20 gifted memberships, bro. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Gotten Milan. Bro, this man is a channel lord. He came in here and he gifted 20 uh, gifted uh, memberships and he also became a tribune. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much, man. Really means a lot, man. Thank you so much, Milan. He heard his name and got excited. Milan rocks in every language, no matter where he's from. True, true. We got we got proof here. Milan definitely rocks, boys. Milan definitely rocks. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, bro. Now do Milan to Italy. We have a Milan run already. We have it. We have it on YouTube, bro. You guys should check it out. Check out my Milan run, boys. 
do it. Check it out. Let's get some more artillery pieces. We don't have enough. And, and we might as well get 10. I like round numbers. I do enjoy me mild round numbers. Thank you, Milan. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, man. I can use Ludi's emotes now. Yes, sir. Especially the really cringe one. That's my favorite one, personally. I use it a lot. I wish I could use it in, uh, like, um, you know, in, uh, on, whatchamacallit, Twitch. But on Twitch, I got different stuff. You, 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 I wish it was intertwined, right? The systems is what I'm trying to say. Do you ever try to RP when you play Nations? I always RP when I play Nations. In fact, even in this one, I RP. I don't show you guys that stuff because it's super cringe, right? But I do uh, roleplay a ton. I do indeed roleplay a ton. A freaking ton. Let's attack these guys with... Um... Wait, a truce is over, right? Are they not my rivals anymore? No, dude. Ugh. They were my rivals for a second there. Oof. All right, let's get a claim. Let's get a claim. Anyone see my messages? Have uh, have some bug with chat. I see the I see the message now, Milan. That's the first message I see though. I didn't see any message before, so I don't know if you said anything, but it was indeed bugged because I couldn't see anything before. Do -do -do -do. Ambrosian Republic goes burr. I like the Ambrosian Republic. I definitely think it's uh it's a really unique flavor that um that uh was offered to um the Milanese, right? To the Milanese. Can we excommunicate anybody? I really want to excommunicate people. No? Dang. Kofer Crusade, do we have one already? We probably do. Yeah, the Ottomans, okay. That's fair. Listen, Milan, military dictatorship to Germany, a military dictatorship. How to fix EU4 lag after 1550s? Uh, wipe out tags. The less tags, the less lag. You didn't hear it here, okay? You did not hear it here. You did not hear it from me, all right? Let me make that clear. I did not say that. All right? Did you hear me, chat? I did not say that. I, in fact, said nothing. What is your AE? Uh, we have very little AE, Mikolaj. Very little AE altogether. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? I'm going to get claims just because I can. I'm not going to... It's just randomly because I can, right? Milan has a chosen patronage of art. Pukata Milanese is schnitzel chad. You staying as Brandenburg or forming something? I'm uh, going to form Prussia once I get the milit admin tech 12. Administrative Technology to Valve. The reason for that is because um, we uh, need to get the, um, the governing capacity to actually be able to stay as Prussia, right? Otherwise, we would have too much governing capacity. We'd be over because we lose 50%, right? So right now we're fine, but we need to um, get Admin Tech 12 for that to fix it. I'm going to need to spawn in Renaissance or uh, Colonialism. I'm improving with these guys, but they're not giving me um, Colonialism, even though they have it. Why are you not giving me, bro? Come on, just give me. Everybody here wants to be my vassal. That's cool. Good to see as well. A stonks. Indeed, indeed, sir. Lydia's story. The Slavic name Milan derives from the Slavic element Mil, which has the following meaning. Kind, loving, and gracious. Okay, interesting, interesting. Never knew that. Is it like uh, similar to like Mila? Because I know like Mila means uh, like peace. I might be wrong. I think it means peace, right? Or grace or something. I don't remember. Are you getting the pre-Soviet Union borders? I guess. <laughs> we probably might expand a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't decided yet. Oh no, our diplomatic guy disappeared. Alejandro, thank you for becoming a centurion, sir. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, bro, for becoming a centurion. Appreciate it, Alejandro. Should I prioritize ideas over tech or the other way around? Uh, it depends. It depends on, um, you know, depends on your particular situation. How many mana points you have, what your goals are, and so on. I think it would be funny to form France, Austria, or Poland. Don't forget the German colonies. True, guys, we can get that right. So technically, I can go colonial. Think uh, Smila is love and Ukrainian. 
Juicy Dalmatian cores. Mila means prestige, apparently. Oh, okay, fair enough. What are the conditions to getting the ants back? Uh, your initial... What the hell is this? Hold on a second. So we get until 30 years dev cost reduction and legitimacy. Oh, right. Okay, I remember this one. Right, right. We want to get this. Yeah, we want to get this. We lose one uh, crownless, but it's not a big deal. Let's go, baby. Do you have moderator here? I think someone needs to show my messages. Um, I do have moderator, Milan, but I can see it and no messages going through, man. Like, literally no messages going through at all. So like I'm, I'm like in my moderator tab, it doesn't show any message. So I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's the YouTube moderating some word that's not showing me at all. I really don't know. I prefer Mediolanium more than uh, Milan. Ukrainian Mila means sweet. Don't forget to get Argentina as a backup. I don't know why. Um, if you want to tell me something, Milan, you can always DM me on Discord. My DMs are open, of course, to anybody, anybody that wants to talk to me. I like talking to people, you know. I don't have many friends, so. <laughs> Serbian camp? Hell yeah. Serbia, ra, 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 best Serbia in Serbia. In fact, it is the number one Serbia in Serbia, guys. Did you know that? Did you know that Serbia is number one Serbia? Except one, one day of the year when it's number two Serbia. We got to talk about it. That would be the day... It's a unique day available to Serbians for the little cost of eight ninety nine ducats. I don't know what I'm going with this. I'm just being weird. Ludi is Kosovo Serbian. Why you do this to me, man, <laughs> bro? <laughs> you have no Japanese friends, brother. I don't go out of the house. I have no friends, period. <laughs> so about the front. Yo, Vanya, you playing the front? I actually am really enjoying it, man. You're talking about the game, right? Going to the uh, to bed now. Good night from Australia. Sleep old Joshua. It's old Serbia. Always has been. Is Ming still intact because you need Jiangsu from, from them? Uh, I need Jiangsu for the mission tree, right? Probably. I don't know. Might be. Haven't gotten all the way there yet. Going to bed now. See you, man. First time watching a stream. Thank you for making great videos. Thank you for watching my videos, KK. Appreciate it, bro. Hiki Komori. You should do the Twitch YouTube uh, sim simul stream option. Yeah, I think there is an option for that, Striker. You're right. I need to uh, document myself a little bit more about it because I'm not really sure how exactly to do it, to be honest. Kosovo was Serbian. Not anymore. Uh, take this. It will be easy for everyone, but in the future it will be again. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. And also true. That is true. Uh, I think Kosovo is like one of the original most holiest of places for the Serbs, right? Because of the battles that happened there. And yeah, I think right now the main ethnic group is Albanians. But you never know what the future holds. Maybe in the future. And this is true, by the way. Everyone's going to be Romanian. You heard it here. I know you don't like it, I know you don't agree with it, but we do have a secret plan to colonize the entire planet, make everybody Romanian, and anybody that refuses to become Romanian shall be, in fact, Moldovan. They're gonna be Moldovan, so it's kind of the same thing, really. <laughs> Jiangsu was a German colony. Wait, what? Give me a random historical fact. Did you know that... The first king of Romania was uh, was German. The first king of Romania was, in fact, a German. That would be King, uh, I guess in English would be Charles, right? King Charles, Charles I. There, that's a random historical fact. No, not Moldovan. Hey, 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 you'll be quiet now. You don't have a choice. I will choose Moldovan over Romanian every time. Ah, Romania, Prea Control. Exactly, exactly. Romania, are they from Rome? Yes, technically, Romanians are descendants of uh, colonists from the Roman Empire that colonized the area many, 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 many years ago. Many, many years ago. All right, I want to be Protestant, but I'm the papal controller, so I'm just going to take advantage of that a little bit. Hey, little bit. 
a little bit low. Wait, my mission is to build a marketplace, right? Yeah, okay. Seize as a Kronland, of course. And we're going to need to do this. So we're going to need some army professionalism. Before I do that, though, I'm going to wait to kill off all of my rebels because I have a ton of rebels. So let's wipe out the rebellions. And afterwards, we can focus on everything else around here. There you go. Memingen, arrivederci. Milan with another 10 gifted memberships. Holy shit, dude. What a... Dude, you're crazy, man. You come in here first time, you become a tribune, and you gift 30 memberships? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude, for the for the gifted. Really appreciate it, bro. Glad to see glad to see the support, man. Really appreciate it, bro. I hope you're enjoying my content. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit random and cringe sometimes. I try not to be, but it's sadly kind of how I am. He took my wallet. Stop it. <laughs> I'm taking everybody's wallet, okay? It all belongs to me right now. Lou, you have a pocket with the zipper. Your tricks cannot beat me anymore. Well, true. But I'm taking the whole pants, okay? I'm taking the full trouser right now. Oh, come on, Naples. Stop attacking everybody, bro. And he's attacking freaking Austria. Come on, Naples. Brother Naples, you need to stop. You have an addiction, Naples. You have an addiction. Oh, yo, 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 yo. All right. Let's quickly peace out. These boyos. Speed four. Skippity boom, 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 boom. I'm going to have to do a separate piece because I really don't want uh, Naples to give me any provinces from Austria for double the aggressive expansion cost, you know? And that's my main concern. Them giving me stuff. Because if they do, that's going to be a problem. After 7k hours on U4, decided to say hello to you, Master. Damn, dude. You got 7k hours in the game? Holy shit, man. That's more than I have on Steam. I got like 5.2 thousand on Steam, if I'm not mistaken. I got a lot more before Steam, though. Before before the game was on Steam. Some people know what I'm talking about. Do you guys know I used to be a buccaneer in a previous life? Alright, boys. Uh, so, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to redo our forts over here. Game was always on Steam. Shut up, man. <laughs> Still on Honeywoman in Japan. Still watching Ludi live. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. How are you doing, man? How is Japan, Joey? I know you've been here for a while, man. I know you've been here for a while. You're taking all the ramen? You need to leave some for me, okay? <clears throat> Didn't know this nation is a secret tip to play. Those Gotlandian Romanians. Feeling bad about 9,354 hours. I'm going to tell Paradox about this. Please don't. Please. I love you, Abdu. Please no. No, I was joking, guys. I was just joking. I was just kidding. Uh, how did we go from being the courier controller, which we still are, to declaring... Oh, it's because the Pope hates us, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. We're at war with the Pope. That's why. Bro, this game, sometimes it do be like that. We are from Gofland. Since it seems I'm not the only uh, ultimate chat gamer in this chat. Have you played Ultima Online? I have not. What is that about, though? What is Ultima Online about? Oof. I don't want to get the minus 25 uh, prestige for piecing out within... 12 months. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I peace out. Ludi, what is your opinion on the gift to Japan by America in 1945 where they covered cities in LEDs? I think that was horrible, bro. It's not a gift. That was horrible. Loss of life. Uh, I really was bad at this game. I even screwed up game uh, as auto bros. But thanks to you and your videos for teaching me so much about the beautiful game. Thank you for watching, Jesus. Welcome to the stream and thank you for watching, man. There goes Bohemia. Did you play Starfield? I did. I actually really enjoy it. The Korea remote control. What the hell, Milan? Bro, what the hell? You need to stop, brother. You need to stop. <laughs> Dude, you need to stop right now. <laughs> what the hell is going on here, man? Milan just gifted 50 freaking memberships. Dude, that is more member... You gift... You gifted 80 total memberships. That is more memberships than I had since I started the freaking channel, man. Unconditional sur- What? You want me to unconditional surrender? 
Bro, what? <laughs> oh god, that's gonna kill me if I finish it. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> you... <laughs> Bro, what? Hold up, hold up. I didn't agree to it. I didn't agree to it. But you did get 50 subs. Holy shit, man. What would Mila what would Florence want? What would Florence want? I don't know. It doesn't show me until I unconditionally surrender. Do I unconditionally surrender, Chad? You have to. Chad, do I ha do I do it? Oh my god, that's gonna oh god, that's gonna suck so badly because everybody's got cores. It's gonna release half of the freaking country, isn't it? It's gonna release half the freaking country, isn't it? I gotta four four K hours after one year. I'm gifting 50 more, don't do it. No shot, you're gifting 50 more, Bogdan. <laughs> Bogdan, I love you, bro. And I will not do it if I if, if you give 50 more, because I am Romanian, I accept it. But as it stands, I will give unconditional surrender in 12 months. Um, I have to do it. He gifted 50 subs, so, so that's a pretty big pretty big you know sending gift 50 uh, subscriptions plus 25 op opinion again on me you, you have to do a milan video after these gifts true 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 kuzag with the five dollars as well thank you so much kuzag appreciate it brother Ludi for money oh man i'm having so much fun in this freaking run so far it's it's turned out really good too you know uh Oh, that sucks balls. They're gonna release half of my country, aren't they? <laughs> Don't let Romanian corruption. Brother, my man here gifted 50 subs, man. <laughs> he gave me more memberships than I've gotten since the beginning of my freaking E4 career. Bogdan actually gave 50 memberships so I don't unconditionally surrender. And Silas also became a tribute. What the fuck, Bogdan? Are you crazy, dude? My man Bogdan, the Romanian in here, with the 50 gifted so I don't unconditionally surrender, tying up Mr. Milan. What the hell just happened? What the actual hell just happened? Dude, what is going on here? <laughs> Milan with another fit. What the hell, dude? Bro, what is going on here? <laughs> dude! <laughs> Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Milan gifted another 50. Milan's got a hundred and... 30 gifted, Bogdan with the 50 gifted. What the hell, people? What the hell is going on? Bro. Bro. I, I, uh, what the hell, people? Okay, hold on. I need to, I need to calm down here for a second. Hold on a sec. Are you guys okay? Are you guys actually okay? <laughs> Are you guys okay? <laughs> Sole Yonard, thank you as well for becoming a legionnaire. Holy shit. I unconditionally surrender. I would too, Bogdan. Milan definitely has a lot of cash. That is for sure. All right, well, Milan has spoken. We will, when we're able to, unconditionally surrender. Thank you so much, guys. Bogdan, Milan, everybody, thank you so much for the Are memberships. You no. No, what happened to your carpet? Oh, go me. No, what go are me. you doing? I'm just, I'm, I was excited because I got a lot of memberships <laughs> gifted. Oh my god. Bogdan, Milan gifted like uh, 130 Milan and 50 Bogdan and like uh, <laughs> a lot of people also. Oh, that, that, this is like a Twitch stuff. It's like a subscription on Twitch, yeah. Oh. Very That's generous. insane, actually insane. Nah, this room is so cold. It's okay because the computer is really hot. You're not cold? I'm okay, I'm okay. My god, you and 
I thought you're dancing. No, no, no. Albi as well with the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, Albi. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. How have you been, Albi? You guys are freaking crazy, man. I'm actually... I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, this is insane how many subs we got. <laughs> oh, they made you day. You guys are really, really kind. Thank you so much, guys. Hype train. Definitely hype train, man. Definitely hype train. This is actually insane. You guys made his day. You did. You did, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. He told me that he's been depressed, but... Uh, yeah, don't tell them. But today is the day that you guys make him happy. Thank you, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Have fun. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Enjoy. It's okay. Everybody goes through this kind of stuff, right, guys? Okay. All right. All right, guys. All right. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, I'm so scared to see what they're going to do with my... Oh, my God. My beautiful country. What are they going to do to it? No. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I blame you, Milan. I blame you for this, bro. I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. No. No. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. Okay, that's not too bad, right? What did, what did I... That's not so bad. That I mean, it's not great, but it's not so bad, is it? Oh my god, until 1537 truce? What? Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I got a truce for freaking 15 years with these bastards. <laughs> oh, this went to Austria? No. Oh. It could have been worse. I was actually expecting them to release like all of South Germany, to be honest. So it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Bogdan. Thank you, Milan. Thank you, Albi. Thank you, everybody, for the subs. I mean, for the memberships. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate the support. That's actually insane, you guys. Bro, you're you're freaking mad, Lord. Seriously, mad, Lord. Cannot believe you actually gifted that many... All of you cannot believe you gifted that many subs, guys. Like, that's literally insane to me. Literally insane. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Now we can start the playing toll. True. I love this green wall of memberships in chat. Bro, I did I would never have imagined I'd get that many memberships in this game. I mean in, in this game in the in this game. Real life. And you know, by playing this game, getting that many many memberships on YouTube. That is literally insane. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate it very much. Thank you so much for that. It's mind blowing. It's actually mind blowing. Thank you for that. Cannot express how mind blowing that is. Thank you so much. You guys are very, very kind. Actually very kind. Milan deserves a world conquest. True, true, true. I should offer some more rewards in my opinion. I feel I feel like I should definitely offer some more rewards for this. Like maybe I can do uh, some name changes in game. How's that sound guys? Should we do some name changes and stuff? You feel like that's fair? I feel like that's very fair in my opinion. Okay, let's bring these troops over here and these guys over here. You're part of our life, Ludi. You're breaking, uh, you're my breakfast uh, tradition for a good day. Glad to hear that, man. Thank you for watching my videos, Louis. Just join. Why did Ludi unconditionally surrender? Because I got gift. I, I was bribed. I was bribed to unconditionally surrender. Rename Berlin to Milan. All right. Sure, we can do that. Milan. Dariago. Mega campaign Milan. I'll do a video. I'll do a video for Milan for sure. YouTube chat is much uh, chattier than the Twitch one. And Mate Porco Lab also with 20 memberships. What the hell is going on here, dude? What the actual hell is going on here, man? Actually, actually, what the hell is going on? Thank you so much, Mate. Also, I'm sorry if I'm, um, if I'm, you know, uh, butchering your name. Discord chat, the Discord uh, general hub. Let me see. Let me see. World conquest with Serbs. I'll think about it. I'll do a video for Serbia. I'll do a video for Serbia, Milan. I'll do a video for Serbia for sure. 
Is that what you were saying and uh, YouTube was uh, censoring that shit, man? I think that might actually be from YouTube because whenever you put like stuff like um, certain countries with certain trigger words, they, they censor that. It's very stupid, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Egonil as well with 20 mem- What the hell is going- Guys, what the hell is going on here? Actually, what the hell is going on? Why is half my chat green now? Bro, what the hell is going on here, man? Bro, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Dude, Egonil as well with 20. Bro, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for the gifted subs- Gifted memberships. I keep calling them subs because of Twitch. Dude, that is insane, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support, everyone. Thank you very much, boys and girls. Thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Milan with the... the bro, come on. <laughs> Milan wanted to make sure that he has 150. Proper, proper round number right there. 150. You guys are freaking crazy. You guys are actually crazy. Half of my chat is freaking green now, dude. Half of the freaking chat is green. What the hell is going on here, man? <laughs> Half of chat no Garadi and the other one is Ulmian. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually crazy, dude. <laughs> Bros, thank you so much for the support. Really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support. That is insane, man. That is actually insane. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm literally blushing right now. Actually blushing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is insane. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you very, very much for the support. Don't feel like you need to donate anymore. I feel like that's a lot already as it is. I feel like that is an insane amount as it is. <laughs> Dude. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I said that's enough. <laughs> and you give another 50? <laughs> Milan literally first time here. And he gives 200 membership. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my actual lord. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Guys, don't forget, uh, this is a sponsored stream by Raid. Use that link to check the game for yourself. We'll play it towards the end of the stream ourselves. Milan, what the hell, man? What the hell, dude? What the hell, man? Dude, you literally gifted 200 subs, man. Are you okay? Are you actually freaking okay? Are you actually okay, man? <laughs> dude, I really appreciate it. Everybody, thank you so much, guys, for donating so much memberships. Really, really, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Milani, you freaking Chad Lord Beast bastard. Milanicus Maximus. <laughs> now the stream is sponsored by Serving. <laughs> true, true. Stream sponsor. <laughs> oh, God. Depression resolved. Sure, sure. Don't worry about my depression, guys. I'll get over it. You have to in life. Even if you're depressed, you gotta move on. And, you know, you gotta... Um, keep your chin up, because, you know, people depend on you, so... 200 subs, a thousand bucks. I actually don't know how much my memberships cost and how much I get on YouTube, because I don't get that many, so I don't check, but I will. I'm actually curious also. That is a lot of money, dude. Holy fuck, man. You crazy, bro. Guys, in general, like, I really appreciate the support. Don't feel like you didn't need to donate anymore. That is a lot of money. I, I, I really don't want to take advantage of you guys. You know, I, I would feel bad. So thank you. Thank you. But that is more than enough, you know. So thank you for all the support. Thank you guys for all the support. Do you remember the Scandinavian War support? What does YouTube take from subs? 55%? 50 or 55 I don't remember which one is 50, 55. I think YouTube is 50% and Twitch is 55%, if I'm not mistaken. It's two euro per membership. He is subscribing them all. Milan, give me... Guys, don't, don't ask for memberships. Come on. <laughs> it's okay. Milan's gifted a lot as it is. Doesn't need to gift anymore. Dude, that is insane. That's actually insane. 200 gifted, my man, here. <laughs> 
how many did we get in total? Like, we got 20, 20, 20, 20, 50 from Bogdan, 200, like, a thousand trillion, man? It's a lot. Bro, that is... Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Twitch was 70-30 for smaller streamer. No, 70-30 is for big streamers, actually. Small streamers, they start with 50-50 on Twitch. And they get 70-30 if they have at least 600 subs from different people. So that's a pretty big size uh, streamer. And then the massive streamers, which is like a thousand of them, uh, get 50-50 after they reach a 100,000 threshold. So it's actually... They still get 70-30 up until that point. Support in the first place, 30% takes YouTube. If you if I didn't have it, I wouldn't, but a good month behind me. I'm glad to hear that, Milan. I'm really glad to hear that, bro. Really glad to hear that. Thank you so much for sharing, man. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody can use the emotes. I would love it if you guys use the emotes. I'm going to add more emotes now that we have so many members in, uh, in uh, YouTube. And I hope you guys enjoy them. I really hope you guys enjoy the emotes a lot. I'm going to add a lot more. Don't worry. We have a few. I, I think I can still add at least, um, what was like? 10, 20 more, if I'm not mistaken, I might be able to add. I'll double check, but I think we can add still a few. There you go. We got those emotes in chat. Thank you guys for for the for using the emotes. Who got 30? Uh, people like uh, Tommy K, he's got 30. So he, he gets 70% of the money from the subs and 30% goes to Twitch. That's what it means. Kick takes only 5%. I know kick takes very little. Um... Problem is, I don't know, like, about kick anything. Like, I don't know how to properly start and quick and kick kick and everything, to be honest with you. I might get into it in the future. Let's see. I really, I, I, I haven't done much research on kick, to be fair. Say, say schnapple duple. Schnapple duple. What's going on, derp? Tommy K? Yeah. The man's doing really well. The man's doing really well. He deserves it, too. You know what I mean? Tommy K is putting in a lot of effort in uh, Twitch. A lot of effort, man. A lot of effort he's pulling in. I put my glasses on and see this game only by 1520s and he unconditionally surrender. If uh, is that all wars or diplo vassals too? Uh, diplo vassals, mostly wars though, but a few diplo vassals too. A few diplo vassals for sure, yeah. Um, let's get a claim here and fabricate on that area or this area. There you go. We can get one more area fabricated. Um, I think this truce is finishing first in 31, so we're going to attack him. So we can get uh, back those lands that we lost when we unconditionally surrendered. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I'm still shocked about everything that happened. <laughs> Best Paradox game ever. Obviously, obviously, guys, it was it is, in fact, E4. But let's see what the future holds, because there might be some new games coming in the nearby future. Who's to say? That will take the mantle of best paradox game. I'm just guessing. I don't know anything for sure. But I'm assuming that there's going to be other games that paradox will release. That will be absolutely amazing. For sure. For sure. For sure. Alright. Let's start provoking rebels. Tommy has a kid and he plays PDX games, hoping his son doesn't like art. Wait, what? <laughs> he said that? Milan is the GOAT. He really is. He really is. Everybody is the GOAT. But Milan is definitely an, an absolute chat lord. Ludi not expecting his success. Remember you posting your horrible thumbnail videos on your Facebook page? I remember, bro. <laughs> I remember. Ludi PU France. Um, we might do something like that. Let's see. Where do you find on your reference for you silly words? I just didn't invent them on the spot. So I got, um, I got, I got you, baby. No, I got, um, I got this thing where I struggle with uh, pronouncing certain words and my mind just goes like when I do it, when I see like some new words or something like that. And that's when the word comes out naturally. What the fuck, Milan? What the hell, man? <laughs> Dude, what the hell, Milan? Brother, there's 400 people here. You gifted 250 subs, man. 
Dude, you literally gifted 250. Are you okay, Milan? <laughs> Man, you... what the hell, dude? Thank you, man. Thank you, Milan. Thank you so much. Bro, you were freaking insane. Actually insane. What the hell, man? <laughs> Thank you, Milan. Thank you so much for the 250 subs, bro. Dude, that is actually legitimately insane, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you so, so much, man. Dude, you're insane, man. Thank you for the absolutely insane support. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much for that. Ludi's got a year salary over Milan. Bro, that is insane, man. That is actually insane. <laughs> Thank you so much, Milan. Thank you so, so much, dude. Dude, that is so many mem- How many memberships do we get? Actually, how many memberships do we get so far? That is ridiculously high amount of memberships. What the F, man? If I'm not mistaken, kick also pay streamers for an hourly rate. It's Do, do, do they? Really? Imagine being in the 50% that didn't get a sum. <laughs> Oh God, dude. Thank you so much, dude. That is just, basically half the stream has a sub now. Basically half the freaking stream. <laughs> thank you, dude. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like just saying thank you is not even enough. I don't know what to say, man. I, I cannot express how much I appreciate it. Like really cannot express 0.9% loans here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh man, you're crazy, bro. You're actually crazy, man. Okay, I'm gonna diplo vassalize these guys. I'm gonna diplo vassalize both of them. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, it's gonna be faster. By the time we finish with the diplo vassalization, we're gonna be able to um to uh, what you call it um fully annex them. So before the truce is done, we're gonna be able to annex them. I'm gonna cancel my alliance with the Neapolitans for now. <sighs> you actual mad lord. <laughs> I didn't have gifts permitted. Do a Milanese world conquest. Well, Milan wants me to do a Serbia video, not a Milan one. So we're going to do a Serbia video. We will do as a Serbsky. Once your subjects provinces. Wait, what? Oh, right. Because they want the ancient stuff. Right, right. Man, that is insane, dude. How on earth are you gifting so many memberships, bro? You must have a really good job, Milan. I'm not going to ask what it is and everything, but you definitely, you had a really good month, as you said. So thank you so much for sharing the love with me, man. World Conquest will be good. Drunk Ludi. Serbia World Conquest. L Ludi is a jolly good fellow. Yo, what's going on, Trianon? How are you doing, man? I think Paradox should make a DLC about absolutism and Revolution Age. Maybe. That would be pretty cool, Abia. Yeah. Best video ever, Serbia World Conquest. Mate also uh, totally not biased here, huh? <laughs> How about to uh, play as Serbia and under the unite the Balkans before 1500? That's not hard. I think I already have a video on that. Didn't I already do a Serbia unify uh, Balkans before 1500? I'm pretty sure I did that already, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm fairly certain I did do that. Did I not? I'm actually not 100% sure now. But I think I did. I'm curious. Did I do that? I think I did. As a Hungarian, nah. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay, Priyanon. How are you doing, bro? We'd love to see Paradox remove governing capacity. Yeah, I do also think that governing capacity is a very old thing that they should remove. But I don't see it getting removed anytime soon, unfortunately. Not anytime soon, lads. I migrated to Japan. Oh shit, no way, dude. You live in Japan. Which uh, which part of Japan? There's a lot of Hungarians actually in Japan, man. I noticed when I was uh, flying to Japan, a lot of Hungarians in Japan work in Japan, residents in Japan. Muslim uh, Serbia HRE Emperor World Conquest. Muslim Serbia HRE Emperor World Conquest. That wouldn't be too hard. I mean, to keep the HRE though, we would have to either use the exploit with the bookmark or... Um, get the emperor ship, stay Catholic, and then um, change to Muslim uh, in, in once we get religious freedom. I guess that would be one way. Can HRE have a Muslim emperor? Uh, if uh, we have religious freedom, yeah. So that means peace of Westphalia. What's going on, Augustin? How are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Governing capacity makes you prioritize your states. It does, yeah, it does. 
that's why, uh, you know, if you play your cards right, you do the right buildings in the right places, you can still manage with a country that's the size of, say, Germany, right? It's not so bad overall. It's really not. Serbia to Prussia to Germany to Russia to the Mongol Empire. Maybe. What is your most recent world conquest I can find on YouTube? Uh, in E4, I think that would be my mega campaign from last year, bro. Did I do a world conquest? I don't remember. What's going on, Silent Snails? Madagascar Minor World Conquest. What's going on, Eastgate? How are you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. You want to get the arbitrary number of states linked to your tech? I mean, with Hungary in E4, I migrated to Japan, had no territory in E4, and instead of Japan, there was Hungary. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Right, 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 right. Okay, that is interesting. That is definitely interesting. How many can we bank here? 1,498. Okay, that's fine. We kind of do need to get colonialism. We're 25 years in and we have not gotten colonialism. That is actually a genuine problem. So let's figure out how we're going to do that. We're going to either spawn it in or... Or, yeah, I think probably spawning it in is the best option right now. Because nobody's trying to give us uh, colonialism. And normally, if you didn't unify Germany so fast, what would happen is um, you would get colonialism from the smaller nations spawning it in. So you wouldn't have the issues that I'm having right now, unfortunately. Kind of one of the drawbacks of unifying Germany so fast. <laughs> All right, we're very close with getting our vassals here, boys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, boys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's fine. It's A-OK. -okay. It's A-OK. -okay. I thought you was, you said you dislike playing E4 these days. I would rather just upload things about Japan. I will start doing that, Zach, after my surgery. I plan on doing basically... I will still upload E4, but I'm also going to upload a lot of Japan stuff. Like, a lot of Japan stuff. And history stuff. I'm going to really diversify the channel a lot in a month. So, speaking of the surgery, um, I was supposed to have it at the end of October, but because there's a lot of people that are having surgeries in this period, I got postponed a little bit more. So, now it's kind of confirmed for the 27th of November. And 26th, I will get, I will go to the, the hospital and I'll stay. 27th is a surgery. And then two more days, I'll stay after the surgery and then I'll come back home. So... Yeah, I still got a month until it until I have to do it. What surgery? I have to have my gallbladder removed because um, I got a lot of small stones that are going all over the my body and they're affecting it. The pain from the gallbladder stones is the worst I've ever felt in my whole life. I would literally, it reached the point where I actually wanted to die instead of having that fucking pain. It's horrible, guys. It's really horrible. I cannot, I cannot express how bad it is for me. So it doesn't happen always, only when this, another small stone goes down some area. And unfortunately, it's affecting my pancreas and some shit. So technically, the doctor wanted me to do the surgery on the spot. But I was like, no, I cannot do it because I got to have some videos ready for whenever, you know, I'm not working for that many days. So I kind of postponed it. And I'm kind of telling him I'm okay even when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> to make him think like it's fine to have it in November, which maybe not might not be the smartest thing, but but at the same time, I'm not ready to have a surgery. I'm kind of scared shitless of it, so yeah, it's a simple surgery. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, Trianon. It it happens. Everybody's got these kind of issues sometimes. Appreciate it, man. May your surgery be successful. Thank you, Phili uh, Philippi Philippicas. I was at Stones literally one year ago. It was the worst pain ever. I know, man. It's just, it's horrible. It's really horrible. It's simple, is it? Literally, we care about you more than your videos. Appreciate it, Alba. Appreciate it, man. Get well soon. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate all the support. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. The surgery is going to be okay. I'm sure of it. It's going to be a-okay. I'm just, I'm I'm basically a pussy, guys, because, you know, I'm, I'm scared of getting cut open. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be scared, but it's scary as shit to me. It is. It's just, it is. It's scary as shit to me. So, yeah. Yeah. It's the dumbest thing, actually, because uh, when you're sedated, you won't wake up until it's done. So, it's really, it will be like a time skip for you. Right, right. 
Well, that's not that there, Romney. Thank you, Stefan. Merci, boss. You, you need to think of yourself. Videos come later. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. I am, I am. Don't worry. I'm gonna have the surgery end of November, so we'll be fine. Everything gonna be a okay, boys. A okay, okay. It's gonna be fine. It will be okay. I got a hernia removed from my crotch at age eight. Doctor wanted it to do it when I was three, but my father postponed it. Ooh. Would have been nicer at three, so you don't feel it. You don't remember it, at least. Surgery kind of sucks. I understand being afraid from recovery, especially when you do YouTube. Time away without preparation can really affect things. It does massively, yeah. It does. I have the same fear. I have a pre-cancer re mass removal. Good luck in the recovery post-surgery. Thank you, Rikish. Uh, good luck to you as well, man, with the surgery and with the recovery afterwards, bro. I hope everything goes well. I got a gifted membership. Big thanks to... I don't know which one you got because we have a lot of people that gifted memberships today. If it was Milan or Bogdan or uh, Meto or any of the other people that gifted. Uh, I also... I'm sorry to butcher your name, but you also remind me of Igolnik Ammo. <laughs> Ingo from uh, Tarkov. I play a lot of Tarkov. And uh, when I saw your name gifting the subs, uh, gifting the memberships, I was like, this man plays Tarkov? His name's Igolnik. But it's not. It's very similar, though. <laughs> I had it removed last year. Ludi feel better than me ever, man. Yeah, I can imagine, bro. Like, the pains that I'm getting from it right now are just horrible. Excruciating. Greetings from Polandia. What's up, uh, Voli? Welcome to the stream, man. Had a family member survive a cancer removal the size of a tennis ball. He made a full recovery. Just trust the doctors. They do an amazing job. My doctor is like a kid, bro. That's another thing that I'm a little bit worried about. The, 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 the doctor that I'm assigned to, he's basically like 20-something. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that he's a bad doctor. Of course. I, don't, I, I would never say that, right? I don't know. He might be a really good doctor. He probably is a really good doctor. But when I when I walked in there and the dude's like looks like a kid, bro. <laughs> he looks younger than I do. <laughs> I'm like, oh god. <laughs> what if he forgets a popsicle inside? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is the, like the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> it's bad. I shouldn't think like that. Probably younger generation is even better than the older ones as they know the new techniques, the new stuff, right? The new ways of handling stuff. For sure they're really good. I'm I'm sure he's a, an absolute amazing doctor. Discord uh, for some reason again not showing. Let me check. Let me check. Yavuz, thank you for joining the membership and becoming a uh, legionary brother. Appreciate it, man. You said something about my work earlier. Just uh, take a look at my YouTube. Take a look at my YouTube. Let's check your YouTube, Milan. So Milan has a YouTube channel. Let's check Milan Psycho Live. Let me change my scene. So you're a fellow content creator than Milan. Oh, dude, you actually have a pretty sizable channel, my man. All right, let me show you guys Milan here. You guys should check out Milan. What kind of streams do you do, bro? What kind of streams do you do, Milan? What kind of uh, games do you play and stuff? All right, let me change window capture. God, I'm so bad at streaming, guys, seriously. All right, so this is Milan here. Let me give you guys a link. Gambling. Oh, dude. So, you, oh, that explains the money, my man. That explains the money. So you gamble for a living. Holy shit. That's insane, dude. That is actually insane. I would never be able to gamble, bro. I would piss my pants if I gambled money. Like, I, I could not gamble. Like, that's one thing about me. I am not a gambler. I, I, I am not a gambler. I think you have a lot of bowls. Big bowls. I would not have the bowls to gamble. Like, actually. Actually would not have the bowls for that. Big respect. Yeah. Big respect, man. And guys, check out Milan. Check out his channel. The man definitely knows what's up. And if you enjoy his content, give him a follow. Give him a sub. He's got more subs than Ludi. He does. Putting five in the slot kills me. Bro, I... Like, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't even... Um, 
you know, I don't even, it breaks my heart to just take a loan. You know, that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> I'm the kind of like the played really, really safe, you know, just for content, not the IRL. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, so do you don't, you don't gamble with actual money though. Then I don't know. Do you use actual money in the, or is it just the game? That's a, like gambling game. I think it's illegal in my country. I'm not sure if it's illegal in Japan personally. It might be. I don't know for sure. Oh, actually, um, after we make these guys our vassals, we have to switch over to Protestantism. I was going to do it now, but I got to wait until I make my vassal. Real money, but sponsored. Oh, damn. That's insane, man. This channel's 404 block content. So I guess gambling channels are not allowed in certain countries, uh, Red Beaver. Maximum corruption reduction. What's going on, Tank Source? Tank Sauce? Ludi, normally you'll be awake during the during that kind of surgery. Am I actually going to be awake during that kind of surgery? Emery, no freaking way. Am I actually going to be awake when they remove my gallbladder? I hope that's not the case. I really hope that's not the case. That sounds messed up. I really hope I'm not going to be awake during that period. Now I'm even more scared. <laughs> now invade England. Respect for uh, Milan, for sure, for sure. Big respect, man. They give you a narcotic. Um, you won't be awake. Dude, how do you have time to also get 7,000 freaking hours, man, in U4? <laughs> it's actually insane. That's a lot of hours. You play, like, how many hours a day? In fact, I want to know how, all of you guys in chat, how many hours do you play U4 for? What's the average U4 play time for you guys? Average. What's going on, Fatih? Are you going to declare war on Austria for Intel? I like I will once uh, the truce is over, yeah. Ludi, just search for it on YouTube. It's really simple. That was really messed up. Here you send you, they send you to sleep. 1,500 hours, 900. About three to four hours, what? 300, 3,000. That's pretty impressive, 3,000. 2,500. Okay, so we have a mixture. We have both the old established... 5,000 gank here and uh, less hours, 7,000 hours, 2,261 days. Yeah, that's a lot of time. 660, 10 to 20 if I don't stream that day. Jesus Christ, man, that is insane. 10 to 20 hours. Wow. It's genuinely insane. 500 hours now, 600, 800, 1,600. Wow. Wow. Ludi is in fact Dutch. This is correct. I can confirm. Yes. <laughs> My whole time in E4 is two hours. I have a potato PC, to be honest. Fair enough, fair enough. 1,700 hours in total. Six hours to eight hours a day for the last five to seven years. My husband, hello. One to three hours total, three to six hours a day. You have a chance to choose sleeping during it, but then the they use a hose kind of thing. I prefer stay awake. They use a hose? What do you mean they use a hose? Okay, now I'm really worried. I need to know how that goes, man. All right, let's see. Uh, what are we going to go for here? States general, no. Absolutism, don't care about it too much. Uh, maybe reform progress for now. Yeah, get more reform progress and then we can change the government reform later. We can change it afterwards to something else. What's going on, Aether? Dutch is Ludi. Ludi is Dutch. This is correct. I am, in fact, Swamp German. No, he didn't say that. No, he didn't. Ludi, how dare you say this? This is not okay. Uh, was it eight? Yeah, okay. All right, boys. Oh god, these these monuments are literally the worst. Like, absolute. Look at this. What is? The, why are the German monuments the worst, man? Bro, actually. Yo, have a good day, Albion. Thank you for for chilling with us today, man. Hi, I'm a fan from Thailand. Been subscribed since the day you uh, still made anime wife was in the U4 thumbnails. I also plan a trip with uh, my friends to visit Europe, Italy, and Croatia. Uh, for the first time, one day we'll go to Romania. Voramed, that is a really long time. That is literally three years ago, dude, since I first started. Thank you very, very much for the 729 Thai bots. I really, really appreciate it so much, man. Thank you so much for that. And I really hope you have a great time in Europe. Be very careful when you visit countries in Europe. Don't get scammed. And be careful with the taxi drivers. Take Uber if you have it available. Um, and 
just have fun. Europe is fun. Europe is definitely a lot of fun as well. It's definitely a lot of fun. Now back to my rant. Back to my rant. What the fuck are these monuments, bro? What is this? Tolerance of the true faith, prestige, and clergy equilibrium. For th for seven, for eight thousand ducats? Now! Now! Oh, what is this crap? Can we get a revamp of the German monuments, please, Paradox? What is this? Papal influence or church power and cost of enforcing religion. <laughs> Come on, man. Seriously? <laughs> Come on. Giacomo, thank you also for becoming a legionary, brother. Where is my membership? I need my wife to explain Ludi. What do you think of the current situation in Israel? I think it is really fucked up, bro. I think uh, there needs to be a ceasefire because a lot of innocent people are dying. A lot of kids, women, old people are getting messed up. You know, Gaza is basically under siege and it's not okay. I don't condone any sort of terrorism from either side. Because when you bomb people, that's also a form of terrorism in my eyes. Just as when you kidnap and murder people as well, right? Any sort of that shit is fucked up. I don't condone it. I think a ceasefire needs to be in place. And I think that both sides need to respect each other. Because I know what people are going to say. Oh, but you know... They're doing this to kids and that. I don't condone that. That is fucked up. But it's happening on both sides. So both need to fucking shut the fuck up. Take a chill pill and respect each other. Treat each other with respect. You know, certain organizations, you know who I'm talking about, the one with H, would not exist if the other side treated people nicely. They would not exist at all because they wouldn't have the support of the people. If, if the other side was treating the people with the respect and with dignity then nobody would fucking support them. Need to take care of some uh, stuff from market. My wife my wife wants to kill me. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for the support, Milan. Have a great day and uh, have a have an amazing day, brother. And make, hope you get the whatever from the market that you need to get. Uh, what if the Pope calls for the Ninth Crusade? I don't know, man. I feel like I, I, I'm just a U4 streamer. I shouldn't be talking about these things, of course, but it's not my place. But my opinion is that people are dying for no reason. That's what I think. Ludi is now Luxembourgish, aka Swamp Swamp Germans. Well, what country do you hate in Europe and Universalis for? I hate um Tell you. They're always annoying to destroy. They always ally some really massive nation for some reason. <laughs> Ludi stole the Roman from the Holy Roman Empire. This is true. This is true. The only solution is the establishment of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. No, the only solution is for both sides to work together and you know. Be nice to each other. End of the day, I'm pretty sure that they have common ancestors, right? Because the ones that left and came back in the 1940s and shit are for sure descended from the same people that stayed there and mixed in with the Arabs that came in and nowadays call themselves under another name. But end of the day, it's different religion, same people. So be nice to each other. Anyway. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's get these courthouses in here. We really need to get a courthouse in every single province that we have. They don't have common ancestors. I think some of them do. Maybe not in general, but for sure some of them do. Have you been in Bulgaria? I have. I like Bulgaria, actually. It's a really beautiful country. In my opinion, the HRE is not wholly Roman nor an empire. I fully agree with you. Thank you for the amazing content, Ludi. Your videos have helped me learn how to play E4. Now my fiancé wants me to teach her how to play it. I directed her to your videos as well. Thank you for directing her to my videos, Blaine. Thank you for watching my videos and for the support, brother. And I hope you have a good time playing with your fiancé uh, the, the game together. Be nice to each other. Exactly, bro. How are you doing, man? Long time watcher. First time I've uh, caught you on uh, stream live. Just wanted to say thank you for all the great uh, content over the couple of years. Thank you for watching my videos, Cam. Appreciate it, brother. Study anthropology in college and I can approve of that. Fair enough, fair enough. Ludi at surgery, I highly recommend you uh, choose to stay away. You don't see or feel anything. It's easier for doctors and has lower risk. You ask, really? You think I should stay awake? No way, man. HRE isn't holy at all. I would have loved to live in the HRE back then. Sounds like a very interesting place. Will you continue streaming on YouTube? I might do some more streams on YouTube for sure, yeah. What is your favorite time period and war? Uh, favorite time period is for sure antiquity. And more precise, my favorite would be um, the early Roman period, like the imperial, the, uh, August, the Augustine period, essentially. 
that would be my personal favorite. I'm a big fan of the early Roman Empire. Lee, my wife is a doctor. Trust me, you better be awake. Really? That's a couple of you guys saying I should be awake. Okay. You're saying it's not going to be painful and it's going to be better? Really? That is very surprising, not going to lie. That is actually very surprising to hear. Very, very surprising to hear. How to become revolutionary in late game. Um, well, it will eventually trigger by itself, man. There, You can also trigger it yourself a little bit easier depending on how much absolutism you have. So the higher the absolutism, the easier to trigger it. Basically quoted Voltaire. Yeah, a little bit. Are you a Jujutsu Kaisen fan? What the hell is that? What did the Romans know about Scandinavia? Not much. Do you plan to play City Skylines 2 on the channel? Do you get a review copy? Yes, I did, and I will play it. I will for sure. What are you getting treated for? I'm uh, getting my gallbladder removed, uh, Alexander. The HR is indeed Roman, holy an empire. No. Doctor YouTube Chad, better than young professional doctor. In the modern medicine, it never is painful. They have meds for that. Also, less complications while staying awake. Where is the last part of the Russian campaign? We're going to do that on stream, Andre. We're going to do that on stream, bro. E4 is unplayable without paying. Unfortunately, Simon, I kind of agree with you on that. Yeah, you need to have pretty much all of the DLCs to have fun in this game, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh, 918, bro. Am I going to waste that much money? Because I don't have yet. Um... Nah, I don't really go out much, Zaki. I don't really go out, my, go out much, man. Bought it all for 20 bucks. Same. I got it for 20 bucks from uh, Humble Bundle. Did you play City Sky, uh, Skylines once? I played it a few times. I actually played the second one quite a little bit. Uh, I'm from Alexandria. Okay. From Egypt, right? Which one? There's a lot of Alexandrias. I'll be right back. I'm going to go pee for a sec, boys. I'll be right the buck. Right the buck. Who said that? It was the nation of Meow. <laughs> How do you get loot emojis? Uh, that would be from membership. 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 What was I going to do? I forgot. I was going to get this. Hello. Um, what was I also going to do? I forgot. Schnapps. Oh, it's going to replace this one. I'm going to replace it with the trade. Trade. With the trade. There we go, baby. Now we're getting in the money. Now we're getting in the money. All right. Uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to change this guy over here so he can start filtering into the northern nodes or the Saxon nodes. Either one is fine. Uh, we're also going to build some more of these. 
we don't need to actually all of the ones we need are placed perfect some more barracks in that case and finish off the courthouses too we need to do that um also going to declare my war on these guys i don't know if i'm going to annex them or if i'm just going to um integrate them Y'all know what I mean, boys. Y'all know what I mean. I think y'all know what I mean. Y'all know, don't you? Y'all definitely know. Buddy, are you more of a shkibaba boob or a shmugada boob? I think I'm more of a shkmugada boob. Why are you saying in Japan? I live here, Vole. I live here, man. Buddy, Japan in person meet up when? Maybe in the future. Because Japan is cool. Great internet connection. True, true, cannot deny, cannot deny technological advances. True, true, also cannot deny, cannot deny. Guys, let's not forget today's stream is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Big shout out to them for supporting us and for sponsoring the stream. And uh, if you guys want to do me a favor, you can use my link to get Raid for yourself and play it and enjoy it. And then you can join my, uh, my Legion and Raid. We're going to play some raid ourselves in a few moments later down in the stream. And then after raid, we're going to continue to play this game after. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what's going to happen here. It's exactly what's going to happen here. I hope you like that. I hope you like it. Ta -da! What's going on, Ether? You live there, but uh, what made you go to Japan and stay there? Oh, my wife. My wife. Is it true that Russia has a better internet than uh, in most places? I have no idea. I've only been to Russia once, and I don't really remember what the internet was like, to be honest, man. Really don't remember. Really don't remember. I do not. Come on, I'm not in the mood to wait for you. Alright, so after this rebel, we can just... Um, Speed five it for a little while. Need to get our economy up. And what else was I gonna do? I forgot. Oh, I think I was gonna convert, right? I am the PayPal controller for now though, so I'll wait until I'm not the PayPal controller. Yeah, I think I'll wait until I'm not the PayPal controller. Then I'll convert. Alright, now I was gonna tag them in 31 when the truce expired. Okay. Okie dokie, boys. Okie dokie. Horky dorky. Yeah, horky dorky. Yeah, is he done? True. Um, do you have any tips for Gothic Invasion Achievement? Um, yes, watch my uh, Theodoro video. I explain exactly how to do the Gothic Invasion Achievement. I don't do it myself in that video, but I show you how to get the initial lands. And the three different ways of getting it. I explain in detail. How strong uh, was your strongest earthquake? It was pretty strong, Andre. I think like uh, 7 point something. No, 8 point something uh, on the Richter scare scale. Internet in Myanmar is great. Of the places you've been to, any uh, good ones to migrate to? I think some of the best places to migrate to would be um, Australia. I mean, it depends. It really depends what exactly you're looking for in a place that you want to migrate to, right? The different places offer different things. We need a new, new updated uh, Theodora video. The meta hasn't changed at all, though, to be fair. I mean, I can do one, of course, you know, get them clicks. But the truth is that it's exactly the same. There's no difference. Exactly the same. Come on, finish all the courthouses in all of Germany to lower that governing capacity. 907, hell yeah. Just buy the land. Do you play Paradox games according to historical facts? Sometimes. If I feel like it, yeah. Why not? Depends. If you're in IT, you should go to Singapore and the Philippines. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Singapore is an amazing country. Heard that Romania has a good internet. Is it true? It is true, yes. Romania has got absolutely amazing internet, actually. Absolutely amazing internet. Honestly... Probably the best internet I've ever seen, including Japan. Like, it's got better internet than Japan, by far. Much better than Japan. Which is a surprise, I know. But it's probably because uh, Romania's internet infrastructure has been built a little bit later. 
compared to most countries. So that's why they were able to build a lot of um, fiber optic connections all, all around the country. I think that's why, at least, uh, Mate. What country in uh, the archipelago Nusantara, Nusantara do you like in U4? I like Singapore. Well, I mean, in U4, uh, of course, uh, Malacca, right? Malacca is probably the best one. What is your most non-native English-speaking viewership? Non-native English viewers, uh, German, German by far. Why did you immigrate to Japan? Because my wife's Japanese and she made me to. No, I mean, we, we had to choose between certain places and we, we thought that Japan is probably the best and also didn't want to keep her away from her parents and her family. So, so that's why. I love her. I want her to be happy and I want her to be close to her family. All right, baby. Let's see what our governing capacity is looking like now. 948. Oh, no. It increased. Come on. Romania or Japan? Japan. Abdullah. What's going on, bro? Ludi had no choice. This is true. This is very true. How you doing, man? Where are my German brothers at? Hi, the Ludi. When there's Anschluss. So where's the Anschluss? Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Actually, we can do the Anschluss in a few months from now. Hell yeah. But you know what? Since we're approaching the exact clock, let's do the raid part of the stream. And then after we go back to U4. Let's do that. Do the raid part of the stream and then we go back to U4. So we finish with the raid bit and then we can enjoy U4. We can enjoy the U4. Here, here. Oh, there you go. There you go. We got we got the Germans in the chat. The Germanian skinski. Ski ski ski. The German ski ski. All right, let me see. Open up as a raid. Guten Tag. What's going on, Kelvin? Numero. Oh, we actually have a lot of Germans in chat. Holy snaps. Do you speak Japanese? Maybe. Are you a Mr. Beast fan? I don't actually watch any Mr. Beast videos, to be honest, man. I don't actually watch any. But, um, I might in the future. Who's to say, right? All right, guys. Uh, let me load up and talk about this game a little bit, too. So, big thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's video, by the way. Really appreciate it. It's a really awesome game that I've been playing for a while now. And I'm happy to share this game with you. All right. Let's make this... Game capture, be full screen. What the hell is going on here? Oh man, OBS is really acting up, isn't it? Alright. Okay, I want to show you guys I'm level 55. Kind of want to show off a little bit since it took me a while to get level 55 in raid. And can you stack wipe and raid? No, well, not really stack wipe, but you can do some things in raid.
All right, well, I don't, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure some things out here. Sorry, guys. All right, boys, so big thanks to Ray for sponsoring today's video. This is October, and as such, there's a lot of uh, Halloween-themed things going on in Raid. For example, you have a link, and I'm going to post that link again right now in chat so you guys have an easier way of accessing it. There you go. You can use uh, this link here. Use my link to get Raid for yourself. For those of you that are new to Raid, you will be able, uh, by copying your in-game player ID and going to raidyard.plarium.com between October 15th to November 10th, by entering your player ID, you can enter and pick up your shovel, pick up your pickaxe, whatever Halloween-themed weapon you might have. And you'll be able to get some amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes as long as you're from the U.S. for the prizes. By the way, it only applies to new users from the U.S. They can take a part of an, uh, in a raffle, essentially. You can get Amazon gift cards of uh, up to 20000 Well, the total value is $20,000. And you can also get epic and legendary Halloween-themed raid champions. If you don't know what that is, bear with me. I'll explain exactly what uh, epic and legendary-themed raid champions are. And let me show you a little video. To go alongside it. Actually, I'll show it. Let me show it full screen. These videos are pretty cool. They uh, they definitely spend a lot of time watching these videos. I think while well, making, not watching these videos in um, in the raid headquarters. So um, so yeah. One sec. Why is this not going down though? This is so annoying. Oh, there you go. Now it's going. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out how to make this work. It's just really frustrating. I'm using OBS. I haven't used it in a while. I guess I'm just going to have to use this then. October to November 10th, you enter your raid ID, I'll show you guys where you can find that in a second, get a lot of different gift cards, if you're from the US by the way only, applies only to US people, in game items, pretty cool, if you don't have raid, if you haven't played raid yet, then this honestly is a good moment to start playing it so a lot of the times um raid has these special things that you know depending on the holiday season they give different boosts and they give different um bonuses and some of you might actually enjoy it if you enjoy mobile games i'm also paying um not paying i'm also playing it on computer but i'm also playing it on um on the phone so you have one account you can use it on both which is pretty cool all right, let's get into it. So, we got a little bit of um, catching up to do here because I haven't played it in a while. So, I'm going to claim my free gift. You can get that on a, your daily. It appears every day and it gives you some different things. So, we got some XP that we can use for our champions. And we got some money as well. Now, you go to your tavern. Your tavern shows 
your champions. When you start off, you basically have really, really weak champions, which I don't have anymore because, you know, I've been playing this for a while. So this is, for example, a class 2 champion. Uh, it can go up to class 5, 5 star champion, or was it 6? I don't remember. It might be 6, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, okay, so up to level 60, yes. And you can level up up to level 60 for a level 6, for a 6 star champion, right? You ascend a champion. So, for example, if I want to ascend this level 2 to a level 3, I upgrade rank, and then I murder some level 2 champions to upgrade them to level 3. There you go. Pay a little bit of money here. Boom, and now he's a level 3. He has to be max level for his current champion level to for his current um, level to be upgraded though. So this guy, because he's level 20, I can upgrade him to level 3, to ascend him to level 3, rank 3. Not really com not really um, proficient with the terminology because I haven't played in a while. But yeah, now we have 3 rank 3 champions. We can upgrade a rank 3 to rank 4. So we can get, say, this guy, or this one, which is rank 3 but max level for the rank 3 and we use we sacrifice three of these and we can make her a rank 4 now she goes down to level 1 after so we have to level her up so upgrade level and we're going to use some of the xp there we go to level her up to maximum that brings us up to 34 and use up some more 39 use up a little bit more There you go. She's level 40 now. We can upgrade her again every time they level up they get more HP attack and defense, right? So you can use them you can use them in battle. There's a few types of battles You got arena you got champions dungeons faction wars clan bosses doom tower um, You're getting old how are you doing Abdullah? What's going on Gabriel? I tried it when a streamer I, I like did a sponsorship. Oh, that's fair, Pedro Roman. That's fair. Who is this girl? I also don't like how all the female characters are so sexualized. Fair. Are there any uh, gaming toilet seats for mobile gamers? Gaming toilet seats? What? I don't know. How would I know that? The Doom Tower is pretty tough for me. I'm not going to go there yet. Arena uh, should be fairly easy. Let's see. So we got Live Arena. Live Arena. This is new. This is where you can fight against other players in real time. So this is actual PvP against other players in real time. This is new. This wasn't around when I played it last month, last time a couple of months ago. So it acts as the ultimate test of your skill in battle. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, we're probably gonna spend a lot of time in the live arena, to be honest with you. So we got some schedules for the live arena. Is it based off of your current rank? Yes, it is bronze one. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's find an opponent. Let's find an opponent. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is actually going to be fun. Okay, we got one guy. So, live arena points. He's got 935. All right, so let's see what he's going to deck up here. Let's get one, two. Okay, let's see what he's going to pick. <laughs> he's level 60. He's higher level than me. Oh, he's going to kick my ass, isn't he? He's level 60. He definitely has better, better uh, champions than I have. Oh no, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. <laughs> What's going on, Apple27? Thank you for watching my videos, bro. Oh, dude. Yeah, he's, he's really gonna wreck me, isn't he? Oh, dude. He's gonna have some really insane champions for sure. I can feel it already. Also, this is live, and he's chosen his stuff really fast. So, I'm guessing there's a lot of people that play this live. A lot of people, for sure. He's got levels... Everybody's level 60 in his deck, bro. I only have three level 60s. Oh, he's gonna win this so easy now. Bruh. Uh, what am I gonna do here? Let's do this one. Screw it, man. Whatever. This isn't Brandenburg. We're going back to Brandenburg. Don't worry. Don't worry, Josh. After, we're gonna go back to Brandenburg. You're ambivalent about circumcision. I don't need strong statement against it, bro. No, 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 don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it because, um... Oh, ban champions. Oh, this guy for sure. 
Pick your team's leader. Um, oh, he banned my best one. Come on. Oh, he's come back. The same Brandenburg. What are you guys talking about in chat? Hold up a second. Yeah, okay. His champions have like three times the amount of health that mine have. This is just bad. I am, I'm going to lose so badly, aren't I? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I already lost. Oh, my God. Life battles is not it, bro. This is not it. These are insane. <laughs> is that Raid Shadow Legends? What's going on, Simon? It is, brother. They are sponsoring us today, man. We're talking about gamer so it's toilet seats, if uh, that's the thing you're wondering. I'm circumcised because I'm Jewish, but you don't have a compelling reason to then don't. Yeah, I wouldn't circumcise for anything, really. There's no reason. It's just a religious thing, right? Some people say that it's, um, that it's, whatchamacallit, a, um, a health thing, but it's not. I disagree with that. You don't have any health benefits from it. Also, why are we talking about that? That's such an awkward thing to talk about, though. Oh, both, Josh? I never freaking knew that. I never knew Muslims, too. Well, wow. okay. Fair enough. All right, let's go this time. With this. This guy's level 62. Come on. Is everybody level 60 in the lowest rank? Get out of here, bro. Seriously, I'm not going to play live anymore. Screw this. They're too tough, man. Yeah, of course. He's coming in with the this guy, with Ninja, who's like a level 60 already Ninja. Bro, come on. Actually. Uh, who am I going to put here, man? Uh, Maybe this one. No, not this one. I'm going to put this one. There you go. You're a legend. Thanks, Ludi. Except for rare medical conditions. Finally catch you live. Just wanted to say I love your videos. Every day with uh, Ludi videos, a better one. Keep up your amazing work. Thanks, man. Greetings from Germany. Max, thank you for watching my videos, man. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you for watching my videos. And I really appreciate the support. Welcome to the stream. All right. So I think I'm going to lose this one also, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to show live battles anymore because I'm losing every single one of them. And you're like, oh, God, this guy doesn't even know how to play the game. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Now, let's see who I'm going to ban from there. This one's a really good champion. This one, too, though. I'm going to ban that one. Oh, he banned this one. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what's up. Bloody being circumcised lowers your chance to get urinal infection. Is that true, though, Emery? I don't think so. I don't think that's true. No, no, man. I'm, I'm giving a hashtag doubt on that one. Why do they get to go first, man? My heroes are dead already. Why do they get to go first? Come on. Oh, come on. It's not fair. I lost already. Didn't even get to fight. Should we try a third time? Or just go to classic arena. There you go. We can choose our enemies from here, man. We can choose the enemies from here. There you go. Oh, way better. They're not online, basically. Offline rating right there. You're the best though. Thank you, Chris. How you doing, man? Instead of Brandenburg, this is Raidberg. That is true. That is very, very true. There you go. We absolutely wiped them out. Let's continue this. Getting my morale back here. Since I'm not getting completely destroyed by them. Never mind. I am getting completely destroyed again. <laughs> Holy mother, man. Holy mother. How are you so strong, brother? 
All right, there you go. We might actually win. This guy's got a... No, we, we won. Okay, that was a close one. That was actually a close one. Yeah, that's... My point is that that's the arena, right? That's against other players. But you also have the campaign here. Now, you have different tiers. You start with the normal tier, which uh, is pretty weak. Then you work your way hard, brutal, and nightmare. Now, I'm on the nightmare tier. But you need really, really good champions to actually get this done. Because some of these are really strong. I need to do the last level here, and I haven't done it because they're just really ridiculously strong. You need to upgrade your, your characters to get that done. So, you go over to your champions. Well, actually here. Click champions, and then you can change their armors, upgrade their armors, get different bonuses from having different combination of armors, upgrade their skills, their masteries. So, yeah. Obviously, legendary champions, which are really hard to get, are better than non-legendaries. And here, we see exactly what we have. So we have Void Shards. We use Void Shards to summon champions. You can summon 10 at a time or 1 at a time, depending on how many uh, shards you have. Sacred Shard has a chance of getting you epic or legendary champions. Primal Shards can get you a mythical, legendary, epic, or rare. And so on. It's basically written here. So let's see what exactly we get summoned. What type of EV4 is this? Don't worry, we'll get back to you for after Noir. Alright, so we got pretty average stuff here. We got mostly tier 1, so they're not really that good. Has the Brandenburg begun, or is this... Uh, it's begun, Dexter. We'll go back to it after this uh, section. Rigged. It does if you don't watch. bro. Monster trying to not have legendary challenge. Impossible. Fair. Alright, let's try and get uh, the Void Shard that we have. Maybe we get something better here. Let's see. Legendary. Nope. Nope. It's not. It's an epic one. It's a rare one. Okay. Let's get another one. Only just arrived, so just asking. No worries, no worries. Appreciate you asking, uh, Dexter. And we got another rare. Draconis. I don't think I know this guy. Oh, this is the first one I... I, I, I never got this guy before. Is he any good? Let's see. Yeah, he's not really that good. Eh. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, we got five more we can get. Give me an epic. That is another rare. Summon another one. Get that red. Amish, look, Amish beard looking. True, true. All right, I'm, I'm suspecting I'm going to get pretty much only rare champions here. Yep, we literally got the same one twice. That is lucky in a way. That is definitely lucky. Can we get the th uh, three times the same one? Nope, and the last shard I'm going to summon. And that is, yet again, an epic. Okay. I'm going to show you guys also the factions. Because I think you guys might like this. Now, you also have the Guardian Ring where you can automatically upgrade your champion's levels passively. So you can do that when you're offline. Just click this and in a few hours, IRL hours, it's going to upgrade their levels. Uh, you got the market where you can buy different items or you can buy uh, champions or shards. Uh, speaking of items, you get items from quests. You get items from um, from uh, the campaign as well. So say, for example, we go do a brutal level um, this one. Now, you get different items. It tells you here the chance of getting what item. So we can get this type of item here. But we get it up to level 5 only because of the campaign. If we went to Nightmare, we could get it up to level 6 maximum level, right? But we haven't unlocked that because that's pretty tough. So let's go, say we go like this. Boom, let's go. E4 1.36 looks very different. Indeed. They added Brandenburg. Indeed. There you go. So our champions are fairly good against, um, against basically the campaign AI right now. All right, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All right, cool. Now that gave us a common, not even a rare glove for this particular set. Having four artifacts of that set equipped in a champion is going to give us heal by 30% of damage dealt. So it's average. Now we want to get really good random sets. We're going to need to go for nightmare difficulty. Now nightmare difficulty is not easy. I mean, look at this. We're getting our asses handed to us here. Too much nannying. Really, Petroman? I kind of like them. 
Uh, Camille, that was because uh, we got some gifted memberships earlier, bro. Set effects, nice. We can also manually do it, so I set it to automatic, but I can actually choose who I attack with the characters. So, what skills I use and so on, right? I'm gonna leave it to auto, because honestly, auto is most of the times better. It's good to do manual when you're fighting against another player sometimes, though. Yeah, this is not good. Yeah, that's really not good. I'm barely doing any damage to these uh, goats or whatever they are. Barely any damage. Like, actually. What on earth, man? I'm not even reaching round 3 out of 3. And I gotta defeat 3 out of 3 in order to get to the next level. Now, a lot of things come into play with this. Uh, it's kind of like magic. Um, like, you know, like when you have in magic, different types of magic. Like you have water magic. Like, I mean in general magic. Tree magic, all that stuff. Here, it's kind of similar. You have different types of uh, damage dealt. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Let's lose this battle because we're clearly going to lose it. We're not going to defeat this boss. God. At least we tried, right? Yeah. He is kicking our butts. Why are they using candy canes as a weapon? That's a really good question. Why not, though? I enjoy all of Ludi's videos. Appreciate it, Emery. Same, Josh. Same. I am too. Now, we did get at least a little bit of XP, but these guys are max level, so it doesn't make any difference. Uh, let's go back to the Bastion. Boom. The Altar of Souls. Ooh. We can awaken. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure how this feature works, because I haven't seen this. I haven't played for a while. We go to our forge and we can make items so we can say make this particular craft here we can add some charms rarity charm and there you go boom crafted baby we got a legendary that's actually pretty good class rank 5 legendary resilience shield we can keep or we can sell we're gonna keep it for now um, different types of sets here Speed plus 12%, protects 30% HP ally shield. Let's, let's make one of these. I don't think I've ever done an instinct set. Oh, no, not you, you, there you go. All right, what do we get? We got an epic four rank, rank four gauntlet. HP 6%, okay, not bad, not bad. Let's make one more. Then the game should reward you for paying attention and thinking ahead by being able to take a better advantage of the mechanics. So too much pop-ups are annoying. It seems like my time as a internet of dormitory is gone. I can get disconnected any second. Hope you have a good day, Emery. Thank you for chilling with us whilst you did, man. And um, good luck with uni stuff, bro. I was really surprised hyped uh, on your Oiride video. I wasn't expecting that. It was uh, very effective. Glad to hear it, Ali. Glad to hear it, man. Oh. Hold up a second, guys. Now, don't forget, you can use uh, this link to check the game for yourself. Would really appreciate it. Would help out the channel quite a lot. It feels wrong watching a Ludi video where playing toll isn't a thing, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Um, speaking of guys, things, there's a new thing in raid. We have the clan league where you can win against other clans and you can advance in the league and that's going to give you, uh, different rewards. Obviously you can use these rewards afterwards. If you guys play raid, you should join my clan, by the way. I don't have that many people in the clan. I'd appreciate you guys joining. 
Holy snaps, Lord Lannister, he, he's a longtime uh, uh, viewer on YouTube. He's 1.5 million. Holy mother, dude. This guy's been playing raid like crazy. <laughs> wow. This guy's level 77? No way, dude. No actual way. <laughs> Holy mother. Okay, that is actually insane. Sleepy's level 69 and he hasn't played for a while though. Hope to see him back. Let's see. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Oh, also guys, this month, um, we have the return of the Prime Gaming Drops in-game. So Amazon Prime members can earn themselves some special in-game goodies. You can also get the legendary champion Sun Wukong for free. All you got to do is just log into Raid for seven days between now and October 23rd. So that's that's gone. That's gone. It's actually gone. October 23rd, a few days ago. So you cannot get you cannot get Sun anymore. Feels bad, man. Let me show you guys another little clip. Have you played uh, as Finland in E4? I have, yeah. Clash of Clans really was influential in bringing clan mechanics to MMO mobile games. Um, I guess. All right, so guys. Epic Drake. If you if you download using my link and you play the game, you get this guy over here. You get the Epic Drake, you get 200 silver, four energy refills, one epic skill tome and one day XP boost. It's a pretty pretty good uh deal right there. That's worth 30 bucks essentially. Really good deal. So, to show you what you do with the skill stuff, so you can upgrade skills for your champions. Let's say here you upgrade this guy, you use the tomes to upgrade, and it upgrades his skills, gives uh, more damage or whatever the skill can get upgraded with. So, my guy is almost completely upgraded. Holy snaps, he just needs one more. Wow, this guy's fully upgraded now. That's my first fully upgraded champion. Cooldown minus one on the main skill. Ooh wee okay, that should be interesting to see. Uh, who else can we upgrade here? Zavia. Yeah, she's pretty good too. Damage plus 5% on transfix. And what else are we getting here? We're getting Poison Rain level 2. Damage plus 10%. Poison Rain is pretty good actually. 10%. Debuff chance plus 5. Debuff chance plus 10 and 10. Okay. And how about this? Oh, this is the best one in my opinion. Deadly Catalyst. It's really hard to get this one upgraded, I guess. Do we have any tomes for these boys? We do. So let's say we upgrade uh, this guy. Yeah, I think we do. Kaiden. Kaiden's pretty cool. 5% extra damage on his Halberter's Fall. All right. And how about you guys? No more for that. How about you? Oh, we could also upgrade them by wiping, by using another character. So we do that, sacrifice them, and we upgrade the skill of the main guy. So we get Acid Rain level 5. So that this guy is almost fully leveled. He needs 3 more levels. 10% more damage on Dark Bolt. And Acid Rain, oh sorry, Disintegrate can get buff damage and cooldown minus 1. Ooh, not bad. Kyle is one of the most popular champions since he's one of the initial champions. So a lot of people are very familiar with him. Deacon Armstrong's pretty decent too. All right, let's try and uh, grind a little bit on the arena. And whilst we grind the arena, I'm gonna talk uh, to you guys a little bit more about the game. Actually, not the arena. Let's do brutal and let's uh, level up some of our champions. So let's go say here, and who's level? Who needs leveling? This one, she needs leveling, and that's it. Mm, yeah, she's the only one, really. Okay, let's level a tier three one then, this guy. Let's 
give a little bit of support. Boom. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Also, guys, if you use my link and you download and you get level 12 with my link, then you're going to get this epic champion too. Rector Drath. She's actually one of the best champions in the game. So it's a pretty good one. But you got to get a level 12. Just join stream. This is a new patch. Looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. I'm back. Well, what's up, Abdul? We're doing the sponsor section now. We'll go back to you for afterwards, bro. I'm back, homies. I see this incredible E Fire playthrough. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. All right, let's uh, let's say do multi battle. So we can do multi battle. This automatically lets us play in the background. So I usually play this game when I'm editing videos, right? So I play in the background. I let it automatically get it get stuff done whilst it's happening. And whilst we do that, let's actually watch some really really cringe and absolute meme. Raid Shadow Legends videos. Mm. Okay. You guys, don't forget to use the link. Um, let me see, which one is the cringiest of them all? Cringiest Maximus. Oh yeah, this one's pretty cringe. I love cringe. You guys know I love cringe. And this does not disappoint. Never will. Raid never disappoints to have the best ads, I mean. Stupid. Really? That's pathetic. I was super stoked when I got Zargala in Raid Shadow Legends. She's a badass warrior princess and has helped me slay many bosses. But in real life, well, Bigger. No, bigger. Ah. What? Y you know, I'm vegan, right? Oh, well, that explains a lot. Then again, she has her moments. Oh, man. This is going to take forever. I got this. I agree, Kuzog, yeah. Get the most out of your champions in Raid Shadow Legends. Download for free. Damn. Don't we all wish we had that champion, IRL boys? Reminds me of uh, Shadow War promos. No idea what that is. Shadow War promos. Let me watch another one. Um, let's see what else we have. There was one also with uh, some famous actors. I don't remember right now where they are. Got a folder here I can show you guys. Let me see if I can find it. I'm not going to give any specific names, but I know some really famous actors. They had some with them.
Army of the Dead. Ooh. Okay, okay. A world of warriors against an ancient evil. You must lead them out of shadow. Upgrade your champions and equipment. Upgrade your skills, artifacts, and masteries. Work together in clan boss battles. Raid Shadow Legends. Download it now on Plarium Play. Damn. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive ads. Sometimes you can be too legendary. Everyone wants you. Find your legend in Raid Shadow Legends. Download now and play for free. Hell yeah. We're playing as we speak, boys. We're playing as we speak, aren't we? Where is the meme? I mean, not all of them have a meme, to be fair. Was that Lazel? I have no idea who that is, man. That's my ex, the real battle axe. <laughs> Do you have a streaming schedule? Uh, Abdu, I don't stream, I don't have a streaming schedule. I kind of just like randomly stream whenever I feel like it, to be honest with you, man. I know, right, App, App Pip. <laughs> Marius, I see you're very happy that I'm playing it. You're not playing for free, you're giving your soul. Dedication, that's what it's all about, Pedro, man. Let's watch another ad whilst we're waiting for this to finish. Uh, not another ad, another, um, clip. Where's the ones with the skeleton? I really like the ones with the skeleton. I feel like those were the best done. Clay. Yeah, let's do some of the skeleton ones. Like the Death Knight ones. Oh, I used to love the Death Knight ones. Oh, now I see. They're... Oh, wow, that's a lot of them. Okay, this one. Claim the greatest champions. Unleash powerful new abilities. These are warriors, not toys. Heroes that look like heroes. Prove you're the greatest warrior in Teleria. Raid Shadow Legends. Download now and play for free. Level up your champions. And this one claim too. the greatest champion. I already watched that one. Where's the other one? This Welcome one. to Teleria, best place for those who love competition and sharing in the thrill of victory. If you're new, don't worry. There are plenty of friendly veterans here to guide you. Come learn from the best and take your place among Raid's greatest warriors. Raid Shadow Legends. All righty. Now, let's actually um, check our champions a little bit. I kind of want to change the uh, equipment that my champions have so I can actually defeat others in life battles. I feel like I need to defeat some people in life battles. It's got to be done. It has got to be done, boys. Let's try again with the life battles. I kind of like it. Not going to lie. I actually kind of like it. They're pretty freaking cool. I just hope I find someone that's weak like me and not complete uh, complete Chad Lords. What's your suggestion for World Conquest as uh, the Ottomans? Um, I would say Aelit would be the meta in the current patch. Boya uh, Batlu. Definitely the Aelit. All right, let's choose, who are we gonna go for first? This one. I 
Actually, I chose as a... Well, it's not my team leader. It's my first champion. It's fine. We can select the leader afterwards because a champion with an otter is what we need, right? For leadership. Oh, he's got a good champion. Holy mother. How do you get that one? Wow. Oh, what is the red? Oh, he's got better champions than me again, man. What the hell is this? Why has everybody got better champions than me, man? Seriously. Why? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, who are we going to go for? Um... Let's go this. Nice fact, this was published by Israeli game developer Plarium Games, a subsidiary of the gambling company Aristocrat Leisure. I know it's Plarium. I never knew where they're from, to be honest with you. He's got five level six champions, man. What the F, man? Haven't played around with the ALITs. Do they have um, development cap to make the justify invasion? I don't remember. I think so. Something like that. It's got to be, right? Use Deacon as the for the aura. You think... Uh, oh, oh. Uh. How much HP does that champion have? What on earth? Bro. I did not come prepared for this, did I? Attack all champions. Yeah. That did no damage. Screw it. Let's auto that one. We're still gonna lose this. I knew he's gonna revive. I knew he was gonna revive. I hate this champion, the little dwarf one. Bro. Oh god, it's so bad. <laughs> I knew he's gonna revive that one, bro. This is beyond bad. He started he he finished the the, the round with uh full HP basically. Almost. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Barely did any damage to it. Bruh. Yeah, basically, Marius. You got him focused the 60 dwarf. Yeah, I realize after that the 60 dwarf is where it's at, really. I should have canceled his 60 dwarf, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't cancel the 60 dwarf. How much health does that dwarf have, dude? Come on. I lost this already. He knows I lost it too. You know, I could have holiest Roman Empire achievement. Even religious war don't spawn. Do I need Catholic HRE? I'm not sure what achievement that is. What about a massive achievement, guy, guys? Alright. We got two more shots. Let's do it. I want to use up all of them, at least. Because I'm having fun. I'm genuinely having fun. Even though I'm losing. I lost every single uh, online live arena game so far. But it's actually enjoyable. I'm just hopeful that the next guy I'm going to go against has weaker champions than I have. <laughs> Something's telling me that's not the case though. That aristocrat leisure parent company of Plarium is a slot machine company that says things. In Raid, it's all about the builds of the champs. Make sure you have a lot of speed in the early game. Right, Vasil, okay. Yeah, I think that's where I'm lacking. I don't really have too much speed in my uh, my champions. I haven't focused on speed as much as I should, probably. Um...
Let's see what he goes for. What is the red star? I don't know. Is this this is new? This is like another level after ascended for sure. Because I don't know what it is, but I'm interested. Looks fun. How does everybody have only level 60s, man? E5 uh, sneak peek. Is this a weird graphics mod for E4? And it's all about the builds. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Oh, he's got level 60s all around, bro. Actually. I don't even know who to ban from this guy. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. He banned my only level 60 that I had. <laughs> I need to upgrade my champion's levels, that's for sure. Um, yeah, just auto, it's good. Oh my lord. That was actually not too bad. That wasn't that much damage, actually. I've never seen this champion. I'm curious what this champion does. I'm not curious anymore. That champion basically wrecked me. Holy mother of God. Okay. That's pretty cool. We got the revive on. Come on, brother. Six, six seconds. Oh, there you go. We got revived. <laughs> Ooh. I hate this champion. <laughs> it does so much damage, man. Oof. Okay, does he have anybody to revive that guy? I hope not. That's the first time I see this one uh, in, in the turn. So he must do a lot of damage. He does, yeah. Low speed, high damage champion, basically. How did he revive the other one already? What? Come on. Bro. I'm not playing live anymore. <laughs> this shows me that I need to improve my champions, though. Come in, JM. Come in, bro. There wasn't an arbitrary opportunity. There isn't marketing clearing for lending. Provide capital to Europe and Europe. Yes. True. True, actually. Trading. Trading is the lifeline of economies, no? Come on. And how does he have so much more speed than me still? Is it because my champion, my the one with the R, died, right? Yeah, it's got to be why. Come on. Do something. There you go. What buff is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Brother. What? Yep, I lost again. Oh god, that's the fourth live arena I lost, man. Did not know that Rage Shadow Legends sponsored the formation of the German Empire. <laughs> hey, you found out now. A little bit longer, Striker. A little bit longer. Don't worry. 
We'll get back to our bees and honey soon. Let me check quickly. Um, I, I, by the way, I really like the fact that, um, you can play raid on PC. I find that so much better. What is this monkey looking guy? What, what faction is that? Curious. Opponent left the battle. What? Did I just win my first battle because the other guy left? <laughs> okay. I'm cool with that. That's actually okay. 1.36 tag. Exactly. By the way, guys, if you use my link in the description and in the comment and also in chat as well, that keeps getting linked in chat, you will um, be able to take advantage of some unique benefits that you can only get with my link. If you're a new player and you reach level 12, you get a lot of benefits that we showed earlier that include 200k silver, four energy refills, one skill tome, one day XP boost, and the epic champion Drake from the lizard men faction. And um, if you reach level 12, you get more awesome rewards, including the champion Erector Drat. What is this champion though? What? Oh, wow. That's a pretty strong selection. Uh, let's see. Deacon, let's go. They're afraid of you, Ludi. Nah, that's probably not. We use your code. You'll get... Um, it would help out, Emery, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 that's, that's, that's basically it, Emery. If you reach level 12, that would be for perfect, too. I live by Ludi history lessons moments, but that was a nice surprise. Maybe I should put Kyle. Let's try Kyle. Kyle. Glad you watched the video, JM. Glad you watched the video. And I meant everything I said, bro. I meant everything I said. There you go. Ban his death knight. Why not? Kick, 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 kick. Pick your team leader. Let's go with this one. Second lads. Trying to deal with some stuff here. Quickly deal with some stuff here. Controversial opinion. I think Prussia and E4 is overrated. 
Can we ban that person? I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like Prussia is not getting the attention it deserves. So we got divergent opinions here. But hey, it's fine. That's what makes the world a better place, right? Divergent opinions improves everything. Oh, actually, I almost won that. Almost. I didn't, but I almost won that. That's impressive. That is impressive. Let's try another one. We need to get that weak player to defeat, guys. I'm... I'm really excited to win a live arena game. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit surprised that Prussia didn't get any special units with Domination, to be honest. Since everybody's got a special unit except them. I wouldn't go that far as well. So. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go. Boom, boom. What on earth is this champion here? Oh god, he's level 61. I am gonna get my ass handed to me, aren't I? Yup, indeed. Yep, 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 yep. Prussia for me no longer is a country, but rather a meme, an idea. Literally every unit of Prussia is a special unit. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Johan said on the forums. But the reality is that they're not getting any benefits to show that, okay? So it doesn't count. Um, I don't even know which one to ban. All of them are just really freaking crazy good. Thank you, Russ. I'm glad you liked it, man. Thank you for watching it, bro. I mean, like, you cannot tell me every unit is, uh... Every soldier is uh, special and stuff when Prussia is unique mechanic the the militarization is literally weaker than some of the unique mechanics from third world nobody knows nations in africa like come on bro quite literally zulu's got a better me militarization mechanic than prussia bro and yet again we lost shouldn't you fly uh try flying prussian army idea said what is that Let's do some classic arena. I want to at least defeat somebody. That uh, should be a fairly easy battle there. There we go. Need to level up our arena a little bit. This guy's level 60. This might be bait. This might actually be bait. This guy might be really strong and defeat us. Let's see. He is pretty strong. He's not going to defeat us, but he is really strong. Yeah, that's pretty strong. I'd say that was pretty freaking strong. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a team of nobodies. And they're gone. Okay. Need to get some quick wins to advance our uh, league, league rank here. Basically, every level we get, we advance towards bronze to league. And then so on. So you can see the tiers here. We got bronze one, two, three, four. Then we have silver up to four. Then we got, what is this, gold or and then platinum, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think the highest I've ever been was silver two or three. Yeah. But it, it resets it after a while. If you don't um, play, you go down to the lowest league level or rank level. It's basically what happened. So I haven't uh, opened my Steam, my... Uh, my uh, raid account for a while. For a while. Kind of feel a little bit left behind now because I don't even know what the red star is. And I want to get some red star people. Russia, Prussia and German Empire is... Um, when the German people became a really powerful industrial powerhouse in Europe. You take trade, offensive construction, those give you 25% movement speed. Full drill gives 25, 20% Prussian ability, gives 15 military hegemony, gives 20%, get 80% land unit speed. That's interesting. I never knew about that. 
I mean, obviously, I knew about all of those modifiers. I never thought about mixing them in to get uh, that much speed bonus. So then, what you're telling me is that you can actually get more than that by by 20 percent more. You can get twenty percent more. Is there a cap on it? Because if there's no cap on it, you can get a hundred percent movement speed by starting as a saluto. Or even more, I need to look this up because if there's no uh, cap on the movement speed, that's pretty interesting. If there's no cap, I actually can get 120% then. Because not only start as Saluto, but there's a couple more things that I, I can think of. Um, plus aristocratic ideas. Can yeah, supporting pressure mark, you have such a uh, punishing debuff of reducing your government. Yes, I agree with that. That one is just, bruh. Big bruh moment, that one. Alright, should be a quick battle. Boom, boom, boom. Skibbity bow. Yay, we advanced to bronze two boys. New tier. Yay. Awesome. Let's go back because. Oh, we also can do faction wars. I forgot about faction wars. That also can give some. Ooh, what is this? Iron Twins Fortress. Challenge is great, but there are rewards. Claim soul coins and soul essence, then go to the Altar of Souls in your Bastion. Get soul stones and summon champion souls, or visit the soul merchant to get souls directly. Each battle requires both energy and fortress keys. It's a limited amount of fortress keys each day. Don't let them go to waste. Oh, this is a brand new arena, basically. What? Oh, this is fun. This is fun, boys. Okay. Let's go with this. Let's do this. See what happens. Oh, oh my god. What the hell is this? Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah, okay. That is the the first one I have to defeat, bro. I'm not sure we'll be able to defeat this guy. <laughs> Holy mother. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Okay, there is a chance still. There is a chance. Nope. No, there's not no chance. Holy mother. He wiped out half of our HP. But luckily we got the, the Shaman, which gives back a lot of HP. And we got Deacon too, which is pretty good with that. Come on. You guys got this. Don't lose, please. It's easy. It seems like easy win. I actually enjoying this. I am Mabdu. I got level 55 in raid, bro. You don't get level 55 unless you play a lot of raid. Trust me. A lot of raid. So that's a lot of raid I play off off camera because I play it when I'm editing. Because it's easy to just play and edit at the same time. I do turn off uh, voice though. I mean, I turn off the noise when I'm editing. So I just play it without noise. We want to meow when you defeat it. Sure. If I defeat it. Looks like I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> Team wiped out by shoulder launcher missiles. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, okay, this is a lot this this boss is a lot harder than I imagined he'd be. A lot harder. We were kinda close though. I feel like if I change a little bit my uh champions, we might get this. Might. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. This guy is what? He's this. He's blue thingy wingy ladding. How do you defeat the blue one? You defeat it with the red, right? Oh, which? Oh wait. It actually shows here. So red defeats blue. So we need to get guys that have red. We have two already that have red. Come on. Let's try again. Second time's a charm. Oh boy. I just look around for a second. Ludi loses what? In Spanish cat say meow. There is actually a famous novel from the 19th century called that because the protagonist's family has a cat-like facial. Really, Pedro? I never knew that. Wow. I mean, I never knew about the book, not the, the fact that they say meow. Lasers, shoulder launcher, lasers, lasers, swords for arms. Yep. 
The moment when you have swords for arms, that is the moment when you know you've basically won. <laughs> you've absolutely won. Don't forget, guys, to use my link to download the game for yourself. Would really help out the channel a lot. You can also use the QR code in the top left of the screen. If you have a, the QR code scanner. Spanish literature is weird. I actually think uh, Russian literature is weird in a good way. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever read any of Dostoevsky stuff or any of Tolstoy or anybody else. They're really good. Like, really, really good. It's like weird. Like, the way they think is very weird. It's weird mentality, I guess, I would call it. But in a good way, weird. It's like different from uh, most people. I appreciate that, Emery. Russian literature is great. A great Russian plays are great. Didn't really read in Spanish literature. Spanish literature is pretty good too. Yeah, I like their uh, their national epic about El Cid. It's really really nice. You guys know that most countries have a national epic, right? Like uh, the British have the epic of Beowulf. Funny how Beowulf is their national epic when the Brits technically, you know, Beowulf is from the period of Thor and Odin and all those guys. And uh, Anglo-Saxons, wh where the, the epic originates from, uh, they, they kind of got, you know, stomped out. So, Magic Keep, um, no. Let's instead do Faction Wars. What factions are up now? So for Faction Wars, guys, you can only use characters from uh, the specific faction. So for example, if we want to do this, we have to use only from the Dark Elves for this faction. Let's try. Brits also have the Matter of Britain, so Arthurian Legend. Oh, true, 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 true. They also have Arthurian Legend. That is true. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. It seems very not German Empire borders, just saying. What's going on, Victor? Don't worry, we'll get back to the German Empire borders after. We're getting back to it. Indeed. How are you doing, man? Guys, you got to check out Victor. Also, uh, E4 creator and really awesome dude. Absolutely amazing individual. I love Victor. He makes really good quality videos as well. And um, very patient guy. I think you guys will love his videos for sure. Anglo-Saxons. Rip Celts. True, true, true. Are we actually going to lose on round two of this? No way. Bro, we're not even getting to the boss? No freaking way. Wow. Shameful display for the elves, unfortunately. Good to see you on uh, YouTube. I'm uh, call me an original name from Twitch. I'm actually it's actually easier to catch you here. What's going on, FA? How you doing, on original? It's been a while, man. How you been? Hope you're doing good. Rip kills. Time for work. So uh, background noise, you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Appreciate it, bro. Weirdly, El Cid and the songs of Roland referred to Muslims as pagans. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That is indeed weird. What? We might actually win this. Yo, what? Oh, oh. Hold up a second. Hello. Ha damn. We went all the way to stage 14, brother. Brother. Wow, that was really close though. I don't think we're gonna win this one. We don't have the, the no. Aside from the main one, the other one, and Kyle, the other ones are pretty trash, so. Uh, I'll try just to see what it looks like. In the northwest, northernmost part of Galicia, there was a migration of Britonic Celts that escaped the Anglo-Saxon invasions. Interesting. It's about the French crushing caliphate in southern France. 
Hope you're doing good. Good to see you getting, uh, thank you. I appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Just came back from uni, worked at like 6 a.m. I'm dead tired. Oof. Oof. As a Muslim, we're not pagans at all. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's basically the same religion with different interpretation, I guess. So I guess heretics in EU4 terms, right? Heretics. Wait, actually, in EU4, it is heretics, right? To Christians. I'm not sure now. Is it? I think, I think so. The same history as Britons and Brittany. They they were probably much less assimilated and got assimilated. Hmm. I'm actually uh, surprised that the Bretonic language in uh, Brittany in France still exists today. Like a little bit, but still exists, right? To a certain extent, anyway, it does. Heathens. I don't see that they actually crushed the uh, caliphate. Bretons have Celtic instruments and a unique language. Okay. Fair. And this is where we die, boys. We're not gonna win this. No. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah we're done. We lost. By the way, if you click on a, an enemy, your army focus, your champions focus on that particular enemy. No meow, sad. True, true, very sad. Heathen, since heretics would normally apply to different denominations with the same religion. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right, actually. Yeah, you're right. I guess heathens would be the right word for it. Hmm. All right, let's try Shadowkin. Do we have any Shadowkin? We have no Shadowkin. Okay, never mind. Let's not try Shadowkin. So, guys, what I showed you there is the factions, right? Now, the factions, um, you can find over here in the index. Wait. I actually forgot. Where was the index? It's right next to champions. Okay. So you got a few factions. You got the Telerian League. You got the Galen Pact. The Corrupted. The uh, Nyrison Union. And each of these um, have different uh, species or different sub-factions. Whatever you want to call them. With Legendary, Epic, Rare, and so on champions. These are the humans. Basically the Banner Lords. There's other humans. The Sacred Lords. The Sacred Order. Mythical rank. Okay, this is a brand new level. Seek from the Nephilim. Brother. This is recently added. Oh my god. What? Bro, what? He's got different skills based on whether he's attack or support. He can change between the two. What the snaps, brother? These are the legendary ones, the epic, the rare, and the rest. Wow, that's actually impressive. So, what are the mythical? Everybody getting as did everybody get a mythical? I guess so. Wow. Oh, dark elves didn't get a mythical. Night Revenants didn't get one also. This is new though, Eryx. It's pretty cool. I like the Night Revenants uh, champions. I like the, uh, the the aspect. They look really cool. Blood Gorger. Ooh, yeah, baby. Looks like Vladim Paler. Famous Romanian vampire. I work on the street. Don't ask more. What? <laughs> what? What? Hold up a second. What? We will Romanize them. Hell yeah. Romanize the vampires. Ogrim tribes. Ooh, skinwalkers. Oh, they got a mythical too. Mosamal Luperfang. Okay. All right. I see what's going on here. 
Alright, that's a fake mask, isn't it? And all of the mythical have attack and support, don't they? Or no, this one's attack and attack. <laughs> Two types of attack skills. Oh, that is so cool. She becomes a werewolf. That is actually so cool. Yeah. York's got a mythical too. She basically got bigger, right? With the with the lizard tail. Oh, I like the new animation for this, man. That's really nice. I like that. See, barbarians, they didn't get anything. Nope. High Elves? Nope. Why is my Deliana not, not upgraded, though? Uh, and s this one, too, I have to upgrade, don't I? Yep. Wait, what level is... Oh, did I just get her and I didn't upgrade it at all? I think so, brother. Yep. Oh, we need to get this woman with some... Um, we need to get her some armor and everything. I don't think she even has armor on. Max up. Boom. Max it up. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, baby. Now let's sacrifice some of these kinders over here. So we can level up a little bit. Kick, kick. All right. Um, what does she have? Where is she? 42. She's got no armor. Okay. What do we have? Let's filter. Let's go five, six star. And only legendary. Mm, don't really have much, do I? Righteous set. Critical rate, defense, defense, HP, attack, defense, HP. HP, critical rate, speed, attack. So this one would give attack 62, 1.3, speed plus 10, speed plus 15. Yeah, let's go this one. All right. We can get, oh, forgot to get these two as well. Um, class 6. Do you guys remember the time Haggis attacked Ludi? Oh yeah, those were the times, bro. <laughs> There's so many champions. I know, Thomas, we do have a few. I've been playing this game for a while. I hate uh, Chainmail getting so much, it's unreal. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you, bro. I get you. I'll get you, brother. All right, let's see. Accuracy heals 15% every turn. Shield and gloves. Oh, we actually could do this. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. All right, now let's upgrade. So we're going to upgrade this to level 16. Boom. Oh, wait, that's not the automatic. Let's go level 12. Oh, I actually don't have that much money left. Holy mother. That cost me 400k, bro. I just realized I don't have that much money left. I need more money. Let's upgrade level 8 only then. For now. So whenever you upgrade items, you have a success chance. So say... You have the upgrade chance over here. This is certain, right? So if you go up to level 8... I'm oh, sorry. certain then after it's medium so it can fail so look now it might have failed there you go it failed we lost the money when it failed oh no it failed again okay, there you go it succeeded now let's get everything up to level eight because i don't have that much money to upgrade so better this than nothing right then we'll get it upgraded more after we get more money Also have some rings. Once we get uh, ascendancy level five, we can up, uh, unlock the um, the banner and the amulet too. Let's um, Galician quality, twenty four star Michelin restaurants. I went a long ass time and forgot Galicians can cook. Seventy two percent siege vibes for real, man. <laughs> I am not the luckiest of person, am I? 
I have no level, no, no five stories, really? Oh, wow. Okay, so we got this. Dwarves, no. She's what, a barbarian, right? Yeah, she's a barbarian. Do we have anything for the barbarians? No, we don't. Oh, we got this. Attack, defense. Mm. I think I'm going to go for this. Go, baby. All right. So now her rating is 15. Her power is 15,000. That is not much at all. What skins can she get? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this one. And this one, actually. Anyway. Um, let's get some quests done. Boom, boom, purchase an item at the market. So we can do this, boom. Go back to our daily. Beat a boss, champion boss in three times, okay. So let's beat Mr. this guy. Three times. Let's use this lady, because we gotta upgrade her. And let's also use Somebody else that we need to upgrade, so say this one, I guess. We're going back to German German Empire in a few moments, guys. The counter the 72% siege is a 105% siege ability. You can try 10 times in one month. Is this Roman channel impossible? I know, Josh, I know. Speaking of guys, don't forget to use the link to get raid for yourself, get level 12, and get those juicy bonuses we talked about earlier. Or you can also use my QR code in the top right of top left of the screen, actually, not right. Alright, let's replay one more. 3600 XP. That's not much XP actually. Oh, we don't have the XP bonus, so we're gonna need to get one of those. That gives us double the XP per day, per anything we do, really. Also, different battles give different items, different amount of money, and different XP, so there's that too. I think the most lucrative one is the last tier for Brutal right now for me. You should join my clan, Emery. You should join my clan, man. Alright. Seven days clearly. So, my clan is right over here. It is Ludi's Legion. We're level 7 and we're kicking butts. Just apply and I'll accept everybody. Alright. Seriously though guys, like if you're gonna play raid, this is the moment because you know the bonus you get by using my code is just massive, especially if you're brand new. And if you're not brand new, you can still get some bonuses, you know, as an existing player by uh, heading to raid play raidyard.plarium.com. And I am going to I'm going to get a couple of things here. I'm going to get this because I want to um, I'm also going to hide, of course, my um, my information. I'm 
I'm going to purchase some shards because I want to get a legendary before we get off. What's going on, Rafard? What's the story behind the Ludis Legion? It's what I used to say at the start of the videos back when I first started the channel. Pretty much. Used to call my, my viewers Ludis Legionnaires. We need to start a new industrial revolution, guys. Hell yeah. All right, so we purchased a pack, which gave us some shards and some gems and some energy to use. Now, energy, of course, you probably figured it out by now, is used to basically do stuff in the game with your champions and combat and so on and shards you can have you can potentially get legendary or epic champions please be a legendary it's an epic bro oh boy <sighs> i mean he's not too bad to be fair he's got a bell on his head that's something right you be legendary? He's gonna be a rear for sure. You can feel it. Yep. Of course he is. One more. Remaining legionaries. Another rare. Please be a freaking epic, at least. Hey! He's an epic! Okay, he's actually not too bad. Alright, we got something good out of it. Hell yeah. Now, German Empire? Yes, indeed, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Well... Don't forget to use the link, guys. I'd appreciate it. it. would help out the channel so much, actually. And now, we're done with Raid, for today at least. So we're going to be playing some EU4 again. Yay! EU4, EU4. Alright. You can still use my link. I'd appreciate it if you did. It would help out the channel a lot. And get up to level 12... Join my clan and play with me. You for mod called Raid Shadow Legends. Hell yeah. About E4 and it's very hard. Uh, do you have a guide for starters? I do have a few of them, uh, Peter. I just... Um, no, no, no. Um, I, I recommend you watch my army composition, my trade video, my playing toll video. This is the best way to learn the game in my opinion. Ludi 105% Siege Ability has a lot of fun. You should try one. But not complete a tutorial. Hmm. Fair enough. Alright, boys. Let's continue the game. Where did we leave it at? Man, what the hell is going on? Why is my, my scene going like that? That's so weird, bro. Is it is my scene fitted on this on the um, Nope. It's in the middle, right? 
Playing Raid right now? Awesome. That's awesome. How about a Mega Campaign soon? Eh, maybe if we get some Light Goal or something. Oteller, Groshen, and Feniga. What the schnapps? 30 government reform progress. Ducats and mercantilism. Ducats lose inflation. Do we have any? We got four. And for the next 15 years, construction costs and time. Or we get mana points. We lose a lot of money. We get trade efficiency. Provincial trade power modifier. For 50 years. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell, hell, hell yeah. Hell, hell, hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah. Oh, you. She probably should have just d done that. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, laddies. Laddies! Let me know if the music is too loud, by the way. I'd appreciate it if you knew, if you tell me. I would appreciate it. All right, let's also convert the religion. Even though we're still papal controller, though, man. I don't know. Should we? Yeah, no, we will. We will for sure. Yeah, screw it. We're doing it. Well, I mean, technically, we're attacking these guys in one year. Like, we can do it after, right? Are they the same? Yeah. No, I'm doing it now. I'm stubborn like that. Oh, dude, I'm Defender of the Faith. Oh, God, why did I click that button? Oh, for this extra manpower to recover it faster. Ugh, I shouldn't have clicked it. I should not have clicked it. All right. Get the claims. And improve relations with the Genoese. I love how Genoa basically doesn't have any of its original cities, but they still exist They've essentially replaced Milan. <laughs> They've actually replaced Milan, bro. Like, what the F is going on here? Genuinely, what the F is going on here? Joachim Staller. There's no music? No music at all? Really? How about now? You can you hear it now? Catholic Germany. I'm not hearing any music at all. Naples are gaming. Genoa, New Milan. Exactly, dude. It's insane, right? Great project cost. No, I'm not going to upgrade any of that shit. It's all crap. It's all horrible. It's all, all horrible. Alright. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yay. Alright. Catching up with our ideas. Loving to see it. Now it's audible. A bit loud now, but I like you for music. It's fine. Oh, is it too loud? Let me turn it down a notch then. What the hell is this? Against Naples? Oh, brother. Am I gonna fight against my previous best friendos? Oh, basically all of Italy is allied now. That's cool. That is cool indeed to see. Can somebody decide to become the religious, the defender of the faith? So I don't, so I'm not the defender of the faith, please. Um, we're gonna need to get rid of some of these privileges too. Truce with Austria is over. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I can hear it well. It's not loud. I'm watching you instead of writing a school essay. Excuse me, sir. Can you please write your school essay? Appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you attack a random nation and get defeated like uh, one province minor and give 25 ducats, you can lose Defender of the Faith. Yeah, I know, Emery, but I, I, I'd rather not, to be honest with you. Colon the Swedes? No need to. Let's see. Uh, let's make Brayscow the target. Where the hell is Brayscow? Am I blind? Is it not on the lit? What the hell? Bro. I'm so confused right now. Let's actually make peace with uh, Naples first. So I can um, 
make an alliance with Brabant so I, so they don't join my war. Um. Ah, it's okay. Even if they join, it's fine. It's fine. It is okay. Yeah, it's fine. Screw it. Let's go. Screw it. Yes, I can put Brun as the war target. And we can call in Castile to deal with the Aragon. Why not? Two arms, my lords. Two arms. <laughs> My lord, that's just weird. <laughs> attack a attack a weak alliance set and lose it. Yeah, yeah, I might do something like that. Just attack. Yeah, glad to see you live on YouTube. See all the schnapple dupes in real time. What's going on, Ben? Welcome to stream, man. Okay, let's go down a little bit in speed because we are at war with half of Europe. So, okay, let's do it. Brrr. Um, opinion of other religions. I'll keep it for the Diplo reputation, to be fair. Oh, did we just wipe out their army? I didn't even realize I did it. Damn, I'm so good. We got courthouses in every single province. That is a bonus right there. Professionalism, we need to get up next. So we have 90 professionals. We really need to get more. And also, I just realized... Did you guys see this in the video when I showed it? Look at this. We got a hundred army tradition, right? And we're still gaining army tradition because of the new uh, government reform they added and a few other things, right? That is fucking insane. Thank you guys. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you guys. Hey, what's going on, Juan? How are you doing, man? Uh, we're trying to challenge ourselves a little bit, YouTube. That's why. Have mercy on you, Ludi. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Have planned to do in to Christmas break a Brazil campaign where I conquer. Okay. Sounds like a fun campaign. You go to Angeles? Uh, we might take a few provinces. I'm only taking the historic German border, okay? That's it. No more. So, so only a few more provinces. Just a couple. The ones we had historically. Doing great, Ludi. Also, hey, what's going on, Akos? What's going on, brother? From Anuda Muda. My brother from Anuda Muda. That's in case you didn't know. That's German for my brother from another mother. Okay. Hey, yo, hold up a second. Hold up a second. What's going on here? And you guys better stay back. here um i need more light ships don't i i do I need a lot more night light ships actually i'm gonna need to get some more light ships all right so here we're gonna take this and should we take this I don't know, man. Should we take it? Shouldn't we? I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Hey, we lost the papal controller. We lost the Korea controller. So we can become Protestant without issues now. We don't care about it too much. We're still the defender of the faith, though. So there's that. 1914 border. Uh, or 1942 border. Hmm. Good question. What about conquered the Europeans with the Incan Empire? Hey, I got a video similar to that coming soon, uh, Juan. Hello. You want me to show them, uh, Stevie? Okay. Oh, of course. Another freaking 71%. Bro, I swear. Why? Why is it always happening to me? It's not a freaking game in which I don't get that schnapps. 
It's on Berlin Webel. On Berlin Webel. I'm not going to force religion because I'm going to change the Protestant, so I don't want him to be Catholic. Cancel some of their alliances. And that's it. There you go. 1914, the Angelus. Amazing. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah. Helyabinsk. You know the province of Helyabinsk? No? Well, that's because I just invented it. Hey, hey. Skibidi bum 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 what do you think about Poland as a country nowadays? I think Poland is a beautiful country with a lot of beautiful people, with a lot of very smart people. And that um, it has a bright future. It's actually one of the most up-and-coming uh, economies in Europe, if I'm not mistaken, too. I yeah, I love pierogi, too. Pierogi is delicious. Pierogi power! Sounds like uh, Kelyabinsk. Oh, it does a little bit. What do you think about the new achievements they're adding with the new DLC? I think they're pretty cool. I think they're so cool. I might even do the one where you just got to load into the game. That's it. Wasn't there one that they're adding that you literally just need to get an alliance with Ramazan? As these guys? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm going to gun for that. I'm going to gun for that one. Never ate Polish food. Why not on Twitch? Hintaras, what's up, man? Uh, I'll be on Twitch uh, next stream, don't worry. Today we're doing a sponsored stream, so. It would help out the channel if you did. Use my link here to check out Raid Shadow Legends for yourself. And become a raider. Become a raider of the Lost Park. You raid the parks, get the champions, own the world. That's what it's about. Okay? Just do it. Okay? Poland's amazing. I agree. It is. The Zoro Austrians ones looks funny. Oh, yeah, that's a funny one, true. Go for the Ramazan achievement and make a 15 minute, minutes a video guide about it. That sounds like a good idea, bro. That sounds like a genuine, really good idea. I'll do that. I'll do exactly that. Thank you for the idea. I'll make sure to let everybody know the video is 15 minutes long because you uh, you told me to make it 15 minutes long. I'll make sure everybody knows. I make sure they know it's your fault. <laughs> No German formation? Why would we do that, though? When we have the beloved, beautiful, amazing Brandenburgus. Huh? Why would we go down the heretical path? Huh? Bro. I wanted to pause, man, so I can fuck my life. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. No, I wanted to cancel it now. It's okay. It's fine. Sometimes, I do be doobadoo. I do be doobie doobadoo babadoo boo. Hey, we got a workshop in pretty much every province now. That's cool. Who's an Austrian uh, alliance? Brabant. Okay. Aragon, Brabant, Papal States. All right. So we actually got to go through the Neapolitan lands then. Aragon, what the hell, man? You're actually winning. Bro, what the schnabadoobs? All right, we're going to send our army to help out our allies because it looks like they cannot really help themselves, can they? You boys are going to give me your trade power. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Give me all the trade power. Check Ludi. What's up, man? Which one is the Ramadan achievement? You gotta... You start at... Wait. The achievements are out, right? You guys are not baiting me to tell you you should. Right? Chat? Halloween zombie invasion. 
You're gonna make a Halloween special for this year? Nah, not really, Juan. Are you gonna make a Halloween special? Let's make a two hours uh, long video essay about how to get a royal marriage achievement. Yes, yes, that is true. That is how you do it. That's how you make the big monies, boys. The big monies, indeed. State governing cost. Hell yeah. Guten Tag aus Brandenburg. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. I would live in uh, Krakow if I spoke Polish. Don't you mean to say that you'd be cracking it in Krakow if you spoke Polish? <laughs> Damn, I'm funny. Not really. No, I'm not. I'm not. Really stupid joke. What do you think about Italy? Uh, I don't. It it doesn't have a bright future. I think Italy has an amazing future, bro. What are you talking about? Italy is at its peak right now, man. Italy is gonna be an amazing country. It has an amazing past, and it has an amazing future for sure. Siege of Torino. Wait, is this a part of my state actually? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, boy. Toy boy. Boy toy. Boy toy? Toy boy. Avigno, Raveno. Do we need to do that? No. Do I want to do that? Yes. Poland kind of got screwed in the elections. Why? What happened in the elections? Italy is a great country. I agree. I'm a magician. I'm telling you that. A lot of people, they don't realize that you know a lot of people they get influenced by the media i feel like and a lot of people feel like oh italy i mean italians i mean people from those particular countries you know like polish people in poland italians in italy they're like oh bro this country is horrible oh, it's got no future but the truth is though that it does have a future man and it's not as bad as people make it out to think to be you know it's not as bad trust me It really is not as bad. Like, when you think about it, Poland after the 1990s um, fall of the Iron Curtain, it was horrible. If Polish people in chat now, you remember what it was like. Because it was the same in my country, in Romania. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, compared to those times, it's ten times better. Let's face it. Same for Italy. It's a lot better than it was before, for sure. It's going to get only better. Things will get better. You'll see. Poland has the fastest growing economy in Europe. I know. Yeah. So what I was saying, like, uh, Poland has a ton of potential. A ton of potential. A. Eh? Naples will cede Corsica to France. Oh, my God. Historical gameplay right there. Actual historical game gameplay. They got historical borders right now. This is, in fact, in case you didn't know, the national anthem of Brandenburg. It's totally not the theme song for the Lord of the Rings. Totally not, guys. <laughs> the siege of the Roma is at over. And I think I forgot to build more ships, than I? Yep. I sure did. Boom, 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 boom. Now, an easy way to just uh, queue up these things is to just make a template and then just click it on the map. But I'm too lazy to do it. It's because there's not that many anyway. Become level 2 and read. Let's go, Emery. Have you seen Rise of the Ottoman em Ottoman series uh, from Netflix? In the second season, Vlad of uh, Valachia appears. No, I haven't. First off, because... It's a drama, right? Second off, because it has some things that it wants to play out as historical that are extremely unhistorical. At least from some small clips that I've seen that were like, holy snaps, bad. So yeah, happened. What's going on, Ksiek? When Romania Mare? One day, one day, brother. 
Is Romania really based on Latin? Romanian? Yes, it is. Two birth. In fact, Romanian is the second closest language to Latin. You know what's the first, the most similar to Latin, the closest to Latin? The language that has the highest amount of Latin words at origin? Sardinian. So yeah, Sardinian followed by Romanian. Weird as fuck, I know. It is what it is. Ba -da -da -da, la 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 la. Oh, actually, we still have a war with Aragon. I forgot about it. Let's go. You'll be in charge of it. Real question is, will Romania reclaim the Roman Empire? No, no, it won't. Mind blown. I know, right, Tubert? It's insane. Same shit as with historical series and movies here in Spain. Live? Pog? What's, com what's going on? No time. Sardinia's are Neolithic farmer genetics. Very cool. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I don't know about that, actually. What do you think about Great Lechia? I have no idea what that is. Is that like Lecce, the Hungarian dish? You mean Italian, right? Chadwin. You do know Sardinian is a separate language from Italian, right? Chadwin Wall from chat. You do realize there's more than just five Latin languages. There's like 14 of them still in existence. Chat, can you name the Latin languages? Well, yes. Okay, good. So we got the big boys. We got Romanian, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, the big boys, the big five. Let's talk about the little boys. We got Moldovan is not a separate language, Sardaukar. You should know that. Uh, we got the small ones. Uh, we got Sardinian, Catalan, Provençal. Was it Galician? I think Galician is cataloged as separate. I might be wrong about Galician, to be honest. Romansh, which is spoken, which is actually uh, one of the uh, official languages in the Swiss Republic, the Swiss Canton, or whatever the fuck this country is, Switzerland. Romansh is spoken in very few small uh, communities around Switzerland. It's about to be extinct, but let's see how long it's going to last for. Then we have a Romanian, Megleno Romanian, Istra Romanian, which are three different uh, languages actually. A part of the Eastern Romance language group. So yeah, it's quite a few. I think I missed a few actually. I think Sicilian and shit I missed too. Swiss Confederacy. Oh, is that how you call it? Swiss Confederacy? Cool. Swiss Confederacy. Less than 500,000 speakers. Provençal is not really spoken anymore. Brother, Romansh by comparison is spoken by a few thousand, so 500,000 is really not bad. Compared to a few thousand, 500,000 is a lot. Was Occitan also, if I'm not mistaken? Sardinian, French, Italian. Romansh is uh, more near to Hindi? No, has nothing to do with Hindi. Technically, it's Confederatio Helvetii or something, or Swiss Confederation. Talha, uh, you're talking about the gypsies, man? The gypsies, uh, they speak their own language. They have actually three different languages, if I'm not mistaken, uh, based on whatever tribe they uh, pertain, to, pertain to. When will you recreate a Great Lechia in CK3E4? I grew up learning Talagi... Gawo Nihisti, only to learn my family has a Creek Cherokee blood. That's cool. I have no idea what the what that was the what the, the the thing you talked about. I don't know what that is. Got no clue what that is. Not a single clue. Taroki Bagarigidi. There's Franco Provençal, Gala Romance one, and uh, Provençal Occitan. Yes, that is true, Pedro. Yeah. Franco Provençal, if I'm not mistaken, is the smallest, right? 
Oak 16 is a little bit bigger. Uh, what are we doing here? Let's see. Now we have to decide, boys. Are we going to do only German Empire borders or are we going to do German Greater Germany? Like, including Austria, Czech, and the Lowlands. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Tell me now or forever be quiet. Oh... Greater Germany? Okay, everybody is literally Greater Germany. Love from Pakistan. Waiting for you to play Sindh and uh, form modern day Pakistan. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope everything is good. Which part of Pakistan are you from? I have a friend who's from uh, Karachi. I got my uh, favorite uh, winter jacket from uh, Lahore Airport, was it? I think Lahore. Or Karachi Airport. I'm not sure. I got it from one of those two airports. It's a uh, real leather. Sheep, not sheep, sorry, goat, goat leather, leather, fuck, all right, fuck it, we're going Greater Germany, Says since you guys kept screaming in the chat, Greater Germany, Ludi, we want Greater Germany, I don't know why you're doing the thing with the tongue, it's just weird, but hey man, I'm not gonna judge, you guys are just weird, that's how it is, it's just how it is. I mean, I would never do that thing with the tongue you guys doing. That's, that's unbelievable. What can I say? You know what I mean? Oh, shit, we're still Defender of the Faith. Okay, I forgot. I was going to lose a... Yeah, okay, we got to lose a war. Okay, screw it. We're going to lose a war. Um, who are we going to lose against? Against Verona. No, I don't want to take... I want to actually take stuff from Verona, so I'm not going to lose against them. We're going to lose against... I would have to fight Hungary for that shit. Uh, eh. Who are we going to lose against, chat? Switzerland? They're allied to the French. Alright, fine. We'll fight the Hungarians. Let's go, baby. All right, cool. I'm going to disband these ships because I don't need them. And you guys go over to Lubeck, please. Merge up with the rest. All right, let's make this a proper full army. And that's about it. Oh, Austria joined. That's actually good, because uh, we're going to reset the truce with them and make it a little bit shorter. Da -da -da. Oh, we forgot to adopt this. Let's go, baby. 2,600. Okay. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Binsk. Three thousand, pay it off. Boom, no more interest. Let's go. One month to get the morale up. Then we can speed our way towards their capitals. Hello. Hmm. Why wouldn't you form Germany? Uh, we'll do it later. For now, I like my border, my, my map colors. Catherine the Great has invited them yet. Don't forget there are Germans in Russia too, Ludi. They need to be a part of the empire. <laughs> Does Ludi have any pets? We do, yeah. We have uh, a cat. Two cats. Two cats? Yeah, technically have two cats. Which one's second? You? Yeah, my wife's cat. I have two. My wife's cat. <laughs> this is true. Don't forget to turn on the AC. Should I turn Hi. on the AC now? You can turn it on off now, yeah, so I don't forget. Very on, eh? It's clean inside. 
Hi. Holy I have holy. a monkey inside my house. I'm the monkey, guys, in case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. I'm from Lahore, Pakistan. Famous for leather exports. It is. It is. I'm sure you are a gorilla. It's, it's okay. I'm gorilla. That's true. Yeah. I don't think that is you really know chimpanzee. Chimpanzee. I'm not chimpanzee. Because chimpanzee has the most empathy. Um, so I'm just regular gorilla then? Yeah. Nasty old gorilla. You are gorilla that's uh, learning your gorilla. Okay. Orky dorky. Um, we can lose this war. I'm gonna get some money from these guys, though. So even though I'm losing the war, I'm still gonna get some money. At least we need to get some money. Oh, baby, you lock, you lock Steven in here. This is my cat, Steven. He's basically like, open the door, motherfucker. Stop making noises and open the door. <laughs> Good boy. He's very smart. Very, very smart. Ludi Mew. Exactly. Council of Trent. Wait, what? What happened? Our dude died? No! Not Schnitzelborg. That was the name of our king, in case you didn't know. True master of the universe, Mr. Schnitzelberg, the great, first of his name. Okay. Uh, what was I going to do? Forgot. Uh, I was going to lose, right? Yeah. Defend yourself. You don't have uh, you don't speak kittenese. Kittenese? Hold up a second here. What the snaps is kittenese? Kittenese? What are you talking about, boy? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and become Protestant. Become defender of the Protestant faith too. Hell yeah, boys. Alrighty. We got all that schnapps. Missionary strength. And more missionary strength. Cool. Wait, I'm not getting divert trade from Lubeck? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, this explains why- Bro. What the hell is that all about? Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's test something out. Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> that is not it. Oh, yeah, because then all of the trade goes down there. Nope. 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 We lose eight ducats. Nine ducats, actually, going into here. Ten ducats, actually, eventually going into here. So, yeah, no. No, 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 no. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Trade steering plus 25. Give me that trade, baby. 
Give me that straight. Oh, that was 0 0.1 ducats. Awesome. Just full of ducats right now. Also, can we get a proper general, please? Thank you very much. All right. What do we need to make into full states now? Brandenburg again. What's going on, Sergio? Oh, that's the only one that's not a full state. Oh, come on, guys. Stop going to war, people. I need to stop. I need to cancel my alliance with them. Screw this, man. Cancel the alliance. Well, actually, now that we're at war, we can get the prestige back up by wiping out the floor with the Polish troops. Da -da 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 -da. And these guys. Alrighty, get some of them barracks in this house, some of those, and that's it. Mostly just barracks. Oh, many! I forgot to start building many factories, bro. No. All right, we good. We are Gucci. Von Strucci. Want to get some battles done as well to get that prestige up. Prestigios Maximos. How many troops they got? 40,000 and... 33. That's really not much. What happened here? And you guys are gone. Bye-bye. I actually don't want any of these provinces. I hope they don't give it to me. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just transfer this to the French. Cause it's double the AE if I take it now. Not like I care too much about AE, but still. You think that learning economics will be beneficial, guys? 100%. Yeah. Of course. Knowledge in general is beneficial. Keep that in mind. Knowing shit will always help you out in life. Way more than not knowing shit. Did our general just die during the battle? Bro. Ew. 153. Ew. 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 Holy mother of shit. Did you guys see that? Bro. Brother, brother, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy snaps, dude. Probably should have fired that one, actually. Dude! Hot damn. Wow. Alright, you guys come here. Um, who am I going to fire now? Am I going to fire Mr. Albrecht Biddlebisht? Yes, I will. Albrecht's got to go. He's not allowed to stay here anymore. Albrecht, you have been voted the weakest link. Get out of my face. War gods for real, man. 4555 Chad Lord. Exactly. What do you what do you used to do before YouTube? Your profession? Well, why your history is so strong? I used to work as a English teacher right before this, but I uh, studied history in university. I got two university degrees. One of them um, I studied history. The other one I studied literature and language. And before being a teacher in uh, Japan, I used to work as a cabin crew for an airline company. So I traveled the world quite a bit when I did that. Saw a lot of beautiful places.
Doing this to ensure the French don't give me nothing. Oh, 58 against 35. Who do you think... Guys, let's let's wager on this. Who do you think is going to win? My Chad Lord Scuba Doobs. I love you too, Ryo Kimio. You fluent in Japanese? Nope, nope. I actually suck at it. I'm pretty bad at it. Hello to you, stream. What's going on, Phil? Hope you guys are having a nice day. Hope you're having a good day too, also, man. Can they give land without you having them set as vital interest? Uh, no. It has to be occupied by me. AI gonna win? Let's see. Let's see, man! Let's see! Hooey! Ha la 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 la! I kick their butts! I kick their butts! Hell yeah, boys! Hell yeah, Binsk! Hell yeah, Binsk! You know what I'm saying? I'm saying hell yeah, Binsk! Hell yeah, Binsk. The general is the X Factor. Exactly. Plus, I got military tech 12. I got guns. They got spears. That's the actual factor. <laughs> Gotta win me some of them battles. Mm hmm. Master Chad Lord, Succubadubadus will be victorious. This is true. This is actually accurate. Antwerpen. We got Antwerpen. Okay, cool. Let's go here. I'm I'm kind of suspecting that the French are going to want to um, annex a big chunk of Bra Brabant. Definitely suspect that. Oh, dude. Ragusa is massive. You have to pay a lot of taxes in European countries. How's the situation in Japan? It's worse. You have to pay a ton of taxes in Japan. In Japan, they have income tax, national health insurance, residency tax, which is different from income tax, city tax, regular tax on all the items. I think I'm forgetting something too. But yeah, it's a lot of taxes. It do be like that. Oh, uh, pension is also mandatory. Even though you don't want to pay it, you have to pay it. Again, that's a lot of money. National health insurance is uh, quite a bit too. Mm. Ton. At least with that one, you know, you get something back from it. At least you'll get something back. How the hell do I get only 200 of those ducats? I literally did all the work. Bro. What is this bullshit? What the hell this bullshit, bro? What the hell? How many languages do you speak? I think about five. Baguette, you ally. Yep. Together forever. Why not do these live sessions on frequent basis? Um, I don't have time for it, first off. And... I don't have the mood for it. Like, I haven't really been feeling awesome recently. And, you know, when I do stream, I don't want to give negative vibes because i want you guys when you watch my streams to feel happy and i want you guys to you know feel better about your day and stuff after you watch my stream you know what i mean so yeah that's why we're gonna build a fort in a eventually i 
think one in Hanover is good too. Let's do that one now. Hey, we got the extra merchant. Oh, wait, did I forget to assign the other merchant? No, we got him. We got him. We good. We good, boys. We good. Okay, you got to come here over here, and that's going to ruin the income of the English Channel node, and it's going to make us get more money than the English Channel is getting. So they got they go down from 37 to, to 36, and we go up to 44, baby. 44. So we're making a bank now. We are making 63 ducats. Not bank, but better than before. Um, oh, forgot about this. One extra merchant. Trade power abroad. That means we're going to do this. Boom. Take that colonial trade. We're going to need to build some more ships. And we're going to send some of those ships to the North Sea. Not this. The new ships we're going to send to the North Sea. All right, come over here. Boom. Also, a really good fortification is here in Lauenburg because this is both a salt mine, so it gives the defensiveness bonus, plus it protects the entire entrance here. So they have to take Lauenburg to be able to go into the north or come into the south. So yeah, it's a really, really good defensive fortification. Lunenburg is not bad too, but I like Lauenburg because it's more centrally positioned. And the forts that get defended by Lunenburg can get defended from Prignitz, which is also where we're going to set up another fortification. And another adjacent the fortification, so. So that's why. Oh, still at war with these guys? Let's help them out. We're back to EU4, Abhishek. Rise of the Ottomans is a good documentary recently. Nope, disagree. Rise of the Ottomans has a lot of historical inaccuracies. And I'm talking about a fuck ton of them. I haven't watched the full series. I've only watched snippets, snippets of people sending me shit and clips. And I've seen stuff that it's not okay. And saying that's a documentary when it's literally a drama with extra steps is a massive stretch. It is not in any way, shape, or form a documentary. If you annex Lubex, Lingishan is best. Wall trade. Yes, that's why I'm keeping... Um, Vassal development does not cost, so we're, we will eventually annex them. But uh, we're not annexing them just yet. For now, we're keeping them for the trade that they offer us in the English Channel and adjacent nodes. We haven't started the uh, proper dev sessions. We're waiting a little bit longer. Banking those Diplo points and everything. Not Diplo, well, mana points in general. Uh, speaking of, forgot to upgrade this guy. Gonna need to build in the south new fortifications as well. Surprisingly, Rothenburg is a really good fort location. It's got one, two, three, four, five adjacent tiles that it protects. Plus, it is a heals, which offers, again, 10% defensiveness. So, not bad. Then again, Ansbach, same situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it offer, and it has salt, which is, again, 15% defensiveness. Difference is that this also offers dice roll for attacker minus one. So, even though it's one extra province, it's fine. It is foin. Foin, foin. We're get another we're gonna get another one in Bamberg afterwards. So it's okay. Makes sense. Ludi History Channel Alien Obsessions. No pressure. Yeah, we will eventually build it. Yeah, form it, I mean. Based Neo Ottoman propaganda. Pretty much, yeah. Gateway to Europe, looting uh, vassalizing uh, Netherlands. He's uh, going for Sudetenland. What do you think of the Swiss government? 
Actually, I don't know much about the Swiss government, to be honest. I really don't know much about it. So, I got no opinion. Because I don't know about them. I do know that Switzerland is essentially a confeder confederation, right? Of various states. That's why it kind of, you know, it's a little bit weird compared to most states in Europe, right? It's a little bit on the weirder side. That is for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hell yeah, man. We're building it here. Hell yeah, beans. We might have a little bit of a disaster because um, I suspect we're not going to be able to get rid of this disaster in time. Religious turmoil. Oh no. We need to reach 50% to stop it. Not too far away plus we got the centers of reformations helping us out too we got two of them converting in our country so maybe not so bad let's see let's see yo yo england can you just you know go away thank you Ooh, trade efficiency for 10 years yeah why not screw it all right let's integrate these guys boom and boom and we finally got this now we're gonna get this one and we're gonna get this one and we're gonna make absolute schnippeldorf bank Fuck yeah. there you go improved by quite a little bit message of the faithful um justify demands oh we need this missionary strength to speed up for now Speed it up, boys. Speed it up, Scotty. Oh, look at that. Friesland might be the one that's uh, actually going to unify the Netherlands. That would be cool to see. Or maybe not. It's that Gelray. Gelray, you have some provinces of mine. Cantons. Probably not. It's not too bad, uh, though. But it does relapse even if you're dealt with it before. Unless they changed it. Haven't even played the game become level 4. It's okay, Ludi. The Master Disaster. Ludi and Gostad into Bavaria and to Germany when? Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. And Bamber's hours, finally. Hmm. Come on with the church power. Alright, there you go. Great project. The Ambrus Castle. Prestige Army Drill Gain Modifier. Like, actually, bro. The German area monuments are by far the worst ones in the game, in my opinion. By far the worst. By actual far the worst ones. I mean, really horrible ones. Like, legit dog shit. Mm, I think I'm going to improve with Naples because I'm going to get the alliance with them again. And I'm going to cancel the one with the French. The French alliance it will be cancelled. Let's go, baby. Boom, boom. Shakalum. Boom, boom, shakalum, boom, boom. Let's get a truce reset with the, with the poles also. And let's wipe out Friesland's army. I love the Polder monuments when I'm playing as the Netherlands. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, if we put that in the German area, then that is literally the only good one. But, like, look at this. Look at this crap. So, we got this one, which, without the mission tree from the from Brandenburg, is just below fucking average. I mean, army tradition from battles. And I'm pissed because I also told, I, I gave this feedback before. Why are you giving me army tradition from battles plus 50% and prestige from battles plus 150% after spending 8,000 fucking ducats when you already have this? Come on, bro. Actually. And same for here. Like, this is good. With a couple of more modifiers, this is basically same situation. Like, really? Just stupid in my opinion. Try to improve trust or develop your country. Not to mention, once we form Prussia and we get the militarization mechanics, again, it's literally pointless. No, no, it's my game, Al Al Algin. Uh, we decided to take a few provinces from Austria too, because I was getting bored with just the ones I have. But that's it. Just the German Empire, Greater Germany. So this, that's it. Only this more. Nothing else. I promise. I'll be a good kid. And I'm going to stop expanding. Best man. Vassalize Friesland. Make them a march. I'm going to make them a march. Yeah. Not a march. I'm going to make them a vassal. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to make them release somebody because right now they hate my guts. They got 183 aggressive expansion. So if I vassalize them, it's going to be an issue. Maybe I'm going to make them release. Um... Utrecht. Yeah, Utrecht. And then vassalize Utrecht diplomatically and feed them everything after. Or even Brabant. Wait, Brabant's dead? They already wiped them out? Wow, okay. I guess both. I'll release Utrecht and Brabant. Mm. Yeah, guys, come over here. Colonize Argentina. Take Croatia too. You're already on the border. Make them release everything. Yeah, I will. I will. Croatia? You mean uh, tell you? Yeah, I want me to attack till ya, boy. I like how München still exists. Yeah, that was because of a donation. We uh, we unconditionally surrendered, so um, so we can so we can. Well, we, we gain money, IRL money for it. <laughs> so then when we unconditionally surrendered, we released parts of our country. Watch the VOD after I finish the stream. Well, actually, you can back up and see for yourself now. Church power, admin points, or legitimacy. No, don't care. Imagine caring about legitimacy, bro. Like, bro, bro. Legitimacy. It's okay, we'll get a second era. to fully annex these guys though yeah i mean this is proper german land in case you didn't know this is modern german borders right shall i all take back my my wallet i'll hold you accountable sure if i don't lie i'm gonna take your money motherfucker <laughs> about the rich germans in the south uh tell me what's best living standards in uk or uae uh depends Ludi and everybody in the chat, 
Here's a hydration reminder. Ooh, it's a good point. Culture says Germanic is rightfully German. True. Not wrong. Not wrong at all. Uh, to be fair, do I want this shit though? Hmm. I guess I do. Oh, let's do this contribution. I guess I do. I might just uh, vast diplo vassalize Utrecht after and give him those lands though. Just for prettier borders. Go, baby. Take Riga. In the future, not yet. God damn, man. Why am I getting so many horrible events, though? Brother, I just want a white piece. Can you not? <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> Do I actually have to seed you down? Oh, 48. We're really close to getting rid of the disaster. Well, to stopping the disaster anyway. We got Vilnius. Let's go for that one. And let's also do this. Oh, but Ludi, why you don't use the Viki, bro? Oh, no. Oh, big no-no. Autumn is gonna be real big, boys. Real, real big. They gonna be real, real big, boys. Alright, give me your money, bitch. Get out of here. Okay. What are we going to do with these boys now? We're going to release uh, this and this and that and that one and the other one and this one and two. Utrecht, Flanders, and full annexation. I'd say they deserve a full annexation. How much dev they got? 17 and 22. No, but we're going to release them and we're going to add straight power. That's the best option. Yeah. There you go. Okie dokes. Now Brandon uh, Brabant has the cores, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they do. And they're also going to be my little Schnapple Dupe. Hehe, <laughs> boy. Schnapple Dupe with all those cores. Skip it up. We have space for one more Schnapple Dupe? I think we do. I think we do. We're going to split it up like this North and South uh, Dutchlands. Let's go, baby! Endgame boss. Will you be getting a historical colonial borders? I might. Will you make proper German colonies? I might. You guys asked the same question. Damn. You guys really want me to make historical Germany, huh? I'll stop now. I'll stop. Sorry, that was the last one. Okay. I almost pressed the plus. Holy shit. That was really close. I'm going to Bucharest for the first time next week. Any tips? Uh, don't get robbed or fooled by people. And use Uber. Don't use taxis. Taxis are horrible in, in Romania. Especially in Bucharest. Let's go, vassal number two. Ooh. All right, cool. Got the vassals. Now we can attack these guys for our vassals' cores. Graz. Rebels in Graz. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. 
you guys come over here and you are going to be bye bye just join the stream welcome jake can't imagine a situation where you'd want a more autonomy no oh well it depends on who you ask man there's a lot of people that think more autonomy is good but no there isn't you always want to lower the autonomy as much as possible all right cool uh build some of these oh, yeah, baby. give me them barracks and build some of these i don't have manufacture yet tech Okay, we'll wait for it, don't worry. Not a big deal. We're gonna need to start devving. We're gonna need to start a dev session very, very soon. Denmark's guaranteed by the Muscovites. Uh, I don't care. How are we doing with the trade? 51 ducats in my main node and 28 in the secondary. Not bad. I mean, not the secondary, in the English channel node. Because it's not my secondary, that's for sure. Alrighty. My little vassal is going to become insanely huge, boys. Insanely huge. Why are you gonna go for the Netherlands if you want German borders? If I'm my vassals, my vassals courts. Ludi wants to know, want to know, does uh, manufacturing on wool province a good idea? Uh, depends. If it depends on what you need, it can it can be a good idea if you have a lot of um, production development. But take note, it's not the most efficient. You could um, also use the state house. So you can lower the uh, overall cost of that particular state if you're struggling with uh, governing capacity like prussians do right personally i like to build uh, those in wool and uh, naval supply uh, provinces why do i not build them in paper and um and glass which gives double the bonus right so if you build this up in um, glass paper or gems you get double the bonus so that's a lot but Paper, glass, and gems also give a lot of money, right? So building an extra regular manufacturing there means more money. That's why. Simple. What is the benefit of uh, English node over the Regan node? Uh, English node gets uh, income from the New World, from the colonies. So the more colonies you get, the more no the more the nodes prosperity going to grow. More money they're going to make. So more money is going to filter in there. And more money can be extracted via merchants. Riga has similar effect. But that's via the Novgorod area. So if they cut you off from Novgorod, it's going to be hard to get money in it. What's going on, zombie? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Can you improve the structure and build both? Yes, that is true. That is very true. Hell, you can even build three as certain countries. Certain countries get the extra manufacturing, like the Muscovites. So you could have three of them if you wanted to. Make a Netherlands vassal. I already have pretty much the entirety of the Netherlands, my vessel. Holland's literally the only one that's not. Oh no, uh, Liege also. I forgot. Liege. Sounds like Liege, right? You know how I found out about the word liege, chat? I found out from Stronghold Crusader. Yes, my liege.
Never knew that word existed before. Every level of infrastructure adds one more possible manufacturing. This is true. This is true. There's a lot of benefits to it. The best one, in my opinion, is um, the development cost minus 15%. I mean, all of this shit is just beautiful. It's just delicious as fuck. Do take note, it increases the governing cost by 15 flat every time you do it. So keep that in mind. Stade Verden. Ooh. Alrighty. Mm. That's Germany, okay. Stronghold who Crus Crusader was lit, bro. For real, it was, man. Bradrum was my first Paradox game. Damn, you still play it? Stronghold Crusader never went on to make it as a brand like no sequel, like Hoi 4 E4. They do have a lot of uh, Stronghold. Well, they have a lot of Crusader series, right? But yeah, none of them are as, as good as, you know. Okay, so we got. Ooh, this one too. Oh my god. God damn, we're getting four cores back? Four freaking cores back? Dude, no shot. What was the target? Uh, Antwerpen. Look at that, see? 2.9 with 7 war score. Or if we do this, 12 war score with 3.4. That only applies to the war target, though. So keep that in mind. Alright, there you go. And trade... Wait, what? Oh, I forgot that we're still at war with the Danes, bro. It's also impossible for me to reach those lands, so... Snaps. I guess we're just taking this. Maybe some money? Yeah. Alright, cool. Hell yeah, I'm gonna name this land Belgium. <laughs> Why, you ask? Why not? Literally getting raided, grinding raid now. Awesome, awesome. If you build state house on paper gem or glass, it gives minus 20 flat governing. So with infrastructure level one, it's still minus five. Hmm. That's, that's actually, that's a good point. That is a good point. It would still be on the, you would still be getting a profit from it. We also have to keep into my account the, the financial bit, right? The cost of it. I guess it could still be worth it, though. Because it affects the other provinces adjacent to it, too. So, yeah, I guess it's worth it. My most favorite phrase has been, uh, holy schnapps. Is Lege Modern Day Luxembourg? No. Uh, modern Day Luxembourg would be... Luxembourg. Well, no, technically, you're right. I guess it would be, like here right modern day luxembourg like a little bit of both yeah a little bit of both i think would be modern day luxembourg kelvin get a strong army brother and don't be afraid to go in the negative with the with the loans as well as with um yo zombie thank you for becoming a member for four months man Thank you so much, zombie. I hope you're doing good, brother. I hope everything is is good with you, man. Um, yeah, get a strong army. Fight the battles defensively if you can. That is also very important. And um, get allies. Get allies. Allies also going to be a massive deal. Um, what am I going to do here? Where do I need more trade power via trade notes? Because I can have three more level three trade notes. Also, I need to fix this. So I'm going to do this.
I dev it up so I get rid of the um, devastation. Um, bu -bu 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 and thank you for the gifted membership as well, zombie. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, man. Really means a lot, bro. When is the last Portuguese uh, campaign video? Oh, don't remind me, Megas. I fucked that one up, bro. So the Portuguese campaign, I recorded it for like 30 freaking minutes. And I realized I wasn't recording. And it was like a good chunk of footage. It was like 30 years or some shit, so... Like, it was literally the most important bit. I was talking a lot about specific colonization paths and everything. And when I realized that I actually didn't start recording, it was way too late. And I felt so pissed. I didn't want to repeat it, so. Liège is just a province in Belgium. Luxembourg is a bit south to it. But it doesn't... I don't think Liège would be a part of Luxembourg. Okay. Fair. Fair, fair. Allies will, will not help if you're in a bad region. Created uh, Zoroastrian Persia. It was flooded 120k. Ottomans. That's a good point too. Zombie with the 50 Swedish krona as well. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, zombie. Really appreciate it, man. You, you've you've really supported me a lot. Don't feel like you need to donate anything else, though. We've we've had a pretty amazing day with the donations today. So, so thank you. Just being here is more than enough for me, man. I appreciate it, bro. I really do. De Riperda, his favorite schnapps is the holy schnapps. This is true. This is very true. Clear. Clear evidence of this. You've been watching for four hours? You've been here from the start? Damn. Hot diggity donga dong. Ooh, I forgot to turn this into another culture. Uh, oof. Okay, I think the next war against uh, Austria is going to be a little bit better. We can almost fully annex them. They're going to have like three provinces left, likely these three in the south. So, yeah. Don't need to do that. Some Munich is going to disappear soon. National tax modifier. Hell yeah. I don't mind doing that. I'm also still here. Thank you for, ch for chilling, Leonard. I see a few of you guys from the start of the stream. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for chilling with me the whole stream. Thank you. Ba, 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 ba. Me and my wife watched uh, many of videos lately. She doesn't understand the game, but she thinks she sound and uh, jokes still land pretty well. No shot, Christian. She does? Damn. What's wrong with her? She's a keeper, man. You hold on to that lady pretty tight, huh? She's ready for the dad jokes. She's ready. I see a question in chat above. What happened? What would you ask me? Say it again. Been here from the start. It was the uh, first time in years that I could uh, type something in a live stream. Usually watch uh, Twitch and YouTube videos. Fair enough. Thank you for chilling with us, uh, Tarbadun. Been watching at work and now I'm at home and I'm still watching. Damn. What do you work as, man? What is your profession? I'm a male stripper. Holy shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. In fact, most people would be jelly right now. And most people are.
Okay, let's check the um, fort level. Oh right, yeah, so we need pregnants and that's it. So pregnants with uh, Leipzig, Leipzig uh, controls this whole area. Then we're gonna need one more Stralsund, I think. Um, let me see. I'm gonna need to dev this up a little bit. Yeah. Wait, which one's lowering the dev? Which one's got devastation? You know, how did this shit get devastation? Damn. Alright, here you go. Dramberg's gonna need a 4 2. We're likely gonna delete this one here and we're gonna replace it with one in uh, Kujavian. Oh, no, not Kujavian. Which one was the forest? Dobrin? No, that wouldn't work also. Hmm. Gotta think about that for a sec. Centor of Reformationus. Did they actually still not fix this, bro? One female viewer. It says it gives you 25 power projection. Where the fuck is my power projection, yo? I'm a doctor. That's awesome, dude. It's awesome, man. IT professional. That's awesome. L lately, I've been doing toll runs. More and more... Uh, over white ones. Maybe I'm not just bad with military. No, 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 man. It's it's all about how you enjoy playing the game yourself. Everybody plays the game differently, right? So it's all about how you enjoy it. That's it. Oh, we got it actually eventually. Delayed. Okay. Doesn't matter, man. As long as you're happy, you play the game. I also like to play tall. Like, if I'm not doing some sweaty try hard bullshit. For the YouTube, I do enjoy playing tall more than uh, than wide, a lot more actually. Ba -ba -ba, brr, ba -ba -ba. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Um, not that. Kind of, I kind of want all of them though. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep them for now. Look at that, three thousand eight hundred ducats from just selling titles. Ooh wee, boys. Ooh wee. Let's use that to build up all the shit imaginable. Oh, actually, hold up, a sec. I'm going to build it up in here. Where's my cloth provinces? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. And here. Just delete this. Build this. Because I know a lot of them, I, don't, I just don't have the building slot, so it's going to change a lot of things after. Because we do have a ton of cloth in uh, Germany, in the German region in general. A lot of it, like a lot of a lot of it. Probably just look at the trade map map mode. There you go. Um, Ukamark, we are building this one. No, this one. Yes, Brown Schwig. Sometimes you gotta do that too. There you go. 
Ludi, is building marketplace in every province of home a node a good idea? Nope. You want to build it in the ones that gives you the highest amount of trade power. So, for example, you build it in these areas for the German area, right? So I build it in Hamburg, in Holstein, Lübeck, Bremen, East Friesland, the areas that give a lot of trade power. So this one here, we're getting 64 trade power. If we change this over to the Protect Trade Edict, it's going to be a lot more. Let's unpause. There you go. 72 trade power. <whistles> Not bad. Same here. If we get the Protect Trade Edict, boom, boom. We go up to 73 trade power. Woo-wee. Eventually, we'll get this up to level 3 too. We just need to get 25 development to upgrade them. I was going to say we should probably do it now, but I changed the edict. Shit. Ew, schnapps. Is 10k even possible in one German border? It is. Yeah, it is border. It is possible. Definitely possible. It's going to take a little bit of time, though. Cloth metallurgy or the backbone of early industry. It's lore that places with industrial traditions have those uh, trade goods. Did we achieve the light gold for the gold line video? I don't remember, to be honest, zombie. We might have. But I'm going to do a gold line video in 1.36 regardless. I'm going to do one for sure, bro. Theodora World Conquest win. We will eventually. Not a world conquest, but we'll do a proper Theodora start. Boys, I'm going to finish it off for today because it's pretty late. I'm tired. It's like 2 a.m. for me. I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun. And I really want to appreciate you guys for the support. Um, and for chilling with me. Don't forget to check Raid Shadow Legends. Download it. Play it. Get to level 12 to get those awesome bonuses. And um, until the next time. Have a great time. Have a great time until the next time. Be good people, guys. Just be good people. I know you can be. Because you are. I love you guys. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much for today.